Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, though. What is that? Where they, where they like, they start off. Boom. Be gone. Boom. Boom. Be gone. Uh, hey. Boom. Be gone. Boom. What's, what is that? What the fuck is he doing? Oh, this right here? Oh, they go like this? <laughs> yeah, that shit. <laughs> that right there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Low mm-hmm. physically as a person, like, he looks like a person that shouldn't exist. He like a cartoon, <laughs> don't he? <laughs> yeah, like he a does. cartoon. Brought he him. does, bro. When they bust into the like they bust into the Corvette, Corvette shit. They do a slow like. Like when Timmy Turner came to Jimmy Neutron's world and he was all yeah. 3D. It's just like it's just like just I shouldn't low. exist. Yeah, like how does Low exist as a person? Yeah, low something that somebody thought about at a long table. Like we need a funny character. Yeah, <laughs> like he has rhythm, but he's like he's big he's though. Big. But he's funny though. He's funny and he wears ridiculous clothes all everywhere he goes. Cause this fit right like here. <laughs> This right here looked like you were Russian. Like, like you, and I, and you know what's so crazy? I wasn't. I actually was not Russian. Like, you so took your time with that? I actually like searched. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I'm, I'm, he skipped this past is, the that speckled fit you, corduroy jean shorts today. This is this is this is the the laundry isn't done today. Fit. That's what oh, this I is. thought you. I thought you. You know, you know the time you get out of the shower, you sit butt naked on your bed with the towel on the bed, and when you think about your fits. I don't even sit on the bed with the towel on. I just sit butt naked on the sheets, wet. Sometimes be a little damp. Be a little Straight so I dripping. Want, I want the bed wet. But that's just <laughs> awful to think about when you when you said it like that. You just come out the shower just wet, wet, dripping. Can you imagine Lo <laughs> waddling towards his bed and sitting butt cheek to fucking fabric? Can you just imagine Lo <laughs> running butt naked, full speed? Okay. Say, <laughs> you're because <laughs> to me, the thing about your eyes is closed. Okay. And when Lo gets three feet away, you can open it. He's running full speed, forty yards away. So right when he gets five yards. I say take your blind foot off and Lowe's running full speed at you. No, I'll give you 10 yards so you can just see him running at you as fast as you can. You're going to see me in five yards. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. You're going to see me, nigga. Hey, man. Uh, Today's. You know, I work. What what time is it? It's 11.50, so I want to be able to say this because in 10 minutes it won't be. Today is National A and P Day, so no, it's, not, it's not National. It's oh, Atlanta. Sorry, 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 sorry. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, this nigga made A and P Day a national holiday. <laughs> Are you it's, crazy? It's A and P Day though. Oh my faxes, god! Faxes, faxes, A and P Day. He's in Chicago, like nigga, when? Yeah, what nah, it's, it's it's International A and P Day. <laughs> <laughs> The the fucking uh, city of Atlanta said so. So you know, what I'm saying oh I just want God. everyone to know on August fourth, you know, what I'm saying celebrate your you know fellow A and P brothers and sisters out there in the world, man. And what a beautiful time to be alive. The Atlanta mayor is just handing out days. Who else he give a day out to? Ka- Kanye had a day. Who? Oh, so Kanye it was A and P and Kanye, bro. That's yeah, it. When, when he when he first start um, camping out in the stadium, they were like, "This is your day, Kanye," <laughs> and they gave him a day. So how you get a day? You got to do something magical, you apply, I guess. Like a verification Yeah, did you apply or they just gave it to you? They gave it to us, bro. There you go. Wait, for, for doing the back to school thing or they just, they're just they just giving it to you anyway? And they just met you, know you at the back to school thing. Oh, is, was that what y'all doing? You're doing back to school? Giveaway? Think about like A&P. This nigga said nothing and about the- Kanye. Uh, he said, <laughs> shut up. I said Kanye's above here though. He's I know, up, I know. But the fact here. that you just put him in the same sentence is You're wild, saying man. we both had days. What can I say? <laughs> um, so you all need to drive? Yeah, we went to some like uh, charity thing today. And Why are you saying so disgusting? What's wrong with you? Ugh. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? Yeah, these nasty booger infested kids backpacks. Uh, Yo, y'all have to tell me if it's Atlanta culture or I'll Southern you know. culture. Say it. Why did nobody say thank you? I was saying thank you to people by accident. I was like, thank you, thank you. I was, because we were put, putting food in boxes and backpacks, all kind of backpacks, put it in a person's car. And then, and I'd be like, you know what? I appreciate you. Thank you. Boom. And I'd wait. I literally waited. And what'd I do? That they, must be. That must be. Say thank you back. That, like, must, that must. That must be a, a transplant thing. Like people who come here because Atlanta. I mean, Southern people are very or hospitality. Wait, that's as, what I thought. Were you that's in the hood. Thought. We were in College Park. Mm. Oh, that's the hood. And then you. Was, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Were saying, <laughs> you were saying thank you before they said it. Yeah, I was like, I appreciate it. Boom. Thank you. you Sometimes I wait to see. Like, definitely. They should still say it though. I, I but why they, they gonna say thank it. you? Why are they gonna say thank you when you be when you said thank you to them? That, that will confuse Both me. people can say that. Bro, I'm Canadian, dog. I fuck up and you're supposed to say my bad. Like, I'll see somebody do something dumb and I'll be like, my bad. Because it's just not, habit. They it's just, just habit. They should, they should, they should, say, they should say, thank say thank you. you. They should say thank you. Anyway. Did they say thank you to nobody or just you? 
I, I don't know what other people's experience was, but I was just waiting on a thank you the whole time. I was working my ass off, sweating bullets. How come y'all didn't tell nobody? Because I didn't know about that. I would have actually came and helped y'all, no cap. Oh, word. I didn't know I mean, about I it until like three work, days before. I would have. I would have. Huh? We didn't know about it till three days before. I would have gave some backpacks. Yeah. Had some old backpacks. I would have just did it off the strength. I know I want to do some charity work. Um. Oh yeah, nah, it was cool though. A bunch of fans were there too. They was taking photos. They were yeah. so excited. For sure. Yeah, nah, it was cool. Yeah, that's what's up, dog. No cap. Yeah, man, that that's was. Good. It was in the yeah, area where helping the hood. Yeah, it's well, I don't, is it still a hood? I don't know. Yeah, it's college, college park. park. Still. Yes. Would you leave Still, your nigga, what? When did it change? I don't, y'all was telling me on a podcast last year that, oh, it's not that bad in Coach Park. It's not as bad as it used to be, be, but it's still a hood, though. Oh, okay. All right. But, like, for you, it's bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't go there flashy. I just went in my, like, little subtle. Of course. Of course. Audi. I didn't go there too what flashy. Where are you going? Audi. Audi. Yeah. Oh. That's not flashy. Not flashy. Really, nigga. <laughs> you it's saying thank you before. Wrapped. Niggas probably, like, got a book bag and said, we got to spend back. <laughs> 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 this nigga I gave me a book bag and told me thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about nah. to tell that nigga you welcome. So, yeah. so like, <laughs> don't thank me yet. So don't we we were yet. like we would go to the cars right and we'd be like how many kids and they'd be like ten kids. So like huh? each, each box has like um so so they're providing for ten kids or whatever. And sometimes there was a person who rolled up in a Lexus right. Wait a and minute. Off the rip, I was like. Hmm. Was it a new Lexus or like an older Lexus? Man, it was a fresh to death Ooh, Lexus. You could tell the paint was fresh. Got finesse. No, and so then, so then I looked at him and I, he said, "My, my eyes scrunched." Who cool organized it? Um, Davis's mom played a role in it. Okay, and but it was like some councilman or something like that. But I, I would hope that Davis's mom would know what she's she's doing. If it was like oh, yeah, some yeah, yeah. some other like rando that wasn't in Atlanta that was still just trying to like <laughs> manage something, like nigga, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no, so then I looked at him in the Lexus and I was like, "How many kids?" And before he even answered my question. He went on a two-minute spiel about how he was here on behalf of somebody else. Because he already knew my brain was thinking, like, I don't think you need this backpack. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you got yourself a brand-new Lexus. This is not a used Lexus from 2008. This is brand spanking new. Mm. Um, so, then I, so then that was an interesting interaction because he kept, like, he kept saying things I didn't know. And he's like, yeah, I'm here because of this person. I know this person. And I was like, okay. And he's like, is this is this an event like with this person and this person? And I'm like, I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you. And he's like, oh, you're just a helper. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just helping her out, man. So then, um, so then a person rolled up in a in a Grand Cherokee, <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself like, wow, must be a big family, right? And I'm like, how many kids? Fifty. I'm like, what? Oh my god, look, I gotta go see if we even have fifty. Fifty is crazy. But they might just be representing. Yeah, a lot of yeah, kids. Yeah, I think that's what yeah, was happening. That's all it is. So we just packed, you know. Packed that's, things in people's cars and stuff fun. like that. When I, when I, um, I was feeding the homeless and they did similar things, it would just be a group of people who would come for like a group of homeless people that they were going to go feed. Mm-hmm. And that's how they just came. Because obviously like all the people who are, you know, representing maybe, you know, single parents and stuff like that, they probably aren't available on that specific day so to come. Somebody get else it. goes so, yeah, so like, hey, try and get, get me my kids some stuff too. What if a homeless yeah. man want to represent? Yeah, so the homie, all homeless people didn't come to the. Like, I'm you know curious what how somebody without a car would come because, like, it was almost like a drive through. So that'll be nothing because that's what we did it too. We was at a church. Yeah. And people, I mean, obviously, you can probably walk to the church, but the other homeless people, if, if I wanted to just go feed a bunch of homeless people on the other side of town, I, I just came and said, oh, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, nah. It was, it was interesting, though. I uh, had a good time. I was sweating bullets, though. Man, the amount of sweat dripping off my body was crazy. And then at the end of it, they um, presented us with the AMP day. Where, where he get like the councilman got like a monumental amount of things like incorrect, but it made it so hilarious. Like I couldn't have pictured a better moment, no cap. Because he went A M P Kia, and I'm like, is that Duke? Who's he talking about? Oh Kai. Kai, but he they switched out the it's I and the Kia. A. So <laughs> I'm busting out laughing now <laughs> while this Kia. is being televised. Now I'm laughing, and then and then they go uh, and. From North Carolina, Duke. I'm like, mm, that's South Carolina. So now I'm I'm almost dying laughing while he's talking. What did he say? You were from Hawaii? He, no, he's like from Canada, <laughs> Agent 007. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh. oh, Lord. This is Agent getting crazy. 72 <laughs> coming in straight from <laughs> Taliban. And then he's like, and from New York, AMP Phantom, Kai, and Chris. I'm like, Chris is from Maryland. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. But I, it was like, it was so much wrong about it that it actually made the moment like way funnier we were lot we, we couldn't help but laugh while he was talking and he probably had no clue why yeah but From idaho we have <laughs> amp chris always remember put your best foot for <laughs> never mind oh my god what 
if they said, <laughs> what, yo, what, what, what they said in all the way from New Mexico, A and P Davis. <laughs> No, they got Davis right. They were I know, like, I know. And Atlanta <laughs> native. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Get that nigga around yeah, yeah. a, a, a drum roll and everything. <laughs> he got that nigga shit right. No, that, that was hilarious. And they gave us like this plaque. Uh, not a not a plaque, but it was like a framed thing yeah. and it had the seal on it too. Sure. Uh oh. it was pretty cool. But hey um, man. You know what I'm saying? Big, big, big ups, bro. Big props big, to you. Big ups. Big ups. Happy big ups. for y'all, man. Continue to grow. Uh, I def, I definitely would have, just all jokes aside, I would have just came out there and lent a helping hand. Because I, I do want to try to um, get back more. You can still can. You know, you can just do it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Actually, I might be able to do it yeah, tomorrow. You, you don't have to keep apologizing to him. You just do it tomorrow. Yeah, man. Go. There's there's more people in need out there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you all want to do that, actually? We didn't, we didn't fix all the problems out there today. Y'all, y'all want to do that? Y'all want to do that? Or, yeah, or I'm just going to do it myself? Peer-to-peer drive? You do that? No, nah, I wouldn't try uh, Not that I wouldn't trust it. Let's do just, it. Let's go to the hood. If I wanted to hit a lick on me, I'd show up that day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Peer-to-peer drive. <laughs> peer-to-peer drive. We'll bring Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what, if I, what if I just go back to my old? My, I can just go to my, back to my old school and just donate some stuff. If you fuck with them, yeah. yeah. You gonna donate your old clothes or what? No, I'm like book bags and. Uh-oh. I don't think nobody wants to donate, Sean. <laughs> Stop <laughs> trolling. <laughs> no cap, but why? Why? Why, why is like old stuff coming back though? Yo, I saw Duke has been wearing an, a myriad of uh, vintage tees, yeah. and I've been paying attention to each one. Yesterday, he was wearing Jen, the Tekken player. And it was like a combination of Devil Gin and Gin. And I was like, man, that is a fire shirt. And he doesn't play Tekken at all. But he just trying to, <laughs> he just trying to stay up to date. And yeah, and with, I was like, damn, I vintage. want your shirt right now, Duke. I want that currently, mm-hmm. man. The vintage tees is the meta. When we went to L.A., we went to this <laughs> store that was selling shoes and vintage tees. These tees is going for like 200 250 That's Yo, crazy. Yeah, more than oh, yeah, that, yeah. really. Yo, yeah. John, do you wash Nigga, vintage what? tees? What? That's yeah. that's yeah, that's normal. That's normal. Vintage tees go for you can I can sell a vintage tee for like three, five hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Like if it's a what original, type of vintage original oh. and then you just got graphic different tees, ones. bro. Just you graphic tees from the nineties. You have double stitch and single stitch. Single stitch are worth more. So how do you wash them though? Do you wash them? Like you try not to wash uh, I mean, them. I right? mean you can you can it's a vintage tee, you can wash it, but I, I recommend washing it on delicate and hanging it and let it air dry. Yeah. Or if you you know what I'm saying, you can just get them dry clean. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that would make. What is sense. what is how how long does it ha- how old does that have to be for it to be considered vintage? Uh, when it uh really vintage is really old stuff. A vintage could be anything about ten years old at least. But vintage? like the most, oh uh, yeah. But it, it's not super vintage. It's just you know what I'm saying earlier. But if earlier. I was wearing a a Kooji shirt that's like I wore in high school, that's vintage now. To be fair, I mean the, for you, yeah. The vintage tees yeah, aren't I mean, like for, yeah for, is you, it for you. That's vintage. For him, no. <laughs> No, nah, but they're you, all graphic definitely. tees, though. They're all they're all like boom graphic tees. They're not like you. If you have oh, a tee from way, elementary school. Let me clarify. Me hey, um, a lot twenty nine t shirt. I don't know what that is. What is that? I'm so surprised. Was it drip? Been. Was it was it hard or was it that just was some... that was back when Dipset Dipset was rocking them and it was it was basically just um the cartoon characters but they were wearing like like they were acting like they were in a hood. I mean it was, they would put oh like, like Looney Tunes or like Tasmanian Devil with a Cuban link and a, a yeah. fitted cap. That's what lot stands for. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't know. Maybe if it's like in good condition, it's not holdy, no bleach stains. You know, some of them yeah. still buy it, but it just lowers the value. But a lot of stuff like stuff like Bape stuff, like OG Bape, like back when Soda were in two thousand three, yeah. they sent it vintage Bape. Bape has been around since two thousand three. It's been back yeah. before that. It just got wow. popular back then. Niggas didn't really understand it. I thought Bape was like fake Air Force Ones. Like I didn't understand Bape until later on, like high school, what Bape was, and I kind of got hip to it. But it's a lot of brands that've been around for a long time. What about Mesquite? Uh, never heard of that. What is that? Yeah, that's not, that means poor in Arabic. Oh, it is? Mesquine? No, it was, uh, it was a clothing brand that was also around the same time, like Lot 29. I mean, yeah, if you got a good condition. What about Jabos? Jabos? It depends what piece. Because it's old, don't mean it's expensive. It's like, it gotta be like limited. So like, their best pieces back then. So like, you can have like a regular polo shirt from back then, it won't be worth nothing. Like a, but you have a, just reselling polo shirts. But we have like a vintage polo no shirt, way. like a like a like a special lacrosse edition, like one of the top tier ones. Now back then, like say you get like a a, a Gucci, a real nice Gucci, one of their new lines, but it's really expensive, yeah. like the best of their line, like a limited edition Gucci. Now yeah. maybe like regular price four or five thousand, but you hold it for like ten years, eleven years. It was one of it was one of Gucci's most popular products. 
back then, 14 years ago. So you keep it, it holds a lot of value. But a regular pair of Gucci slides 10 years from now is not going to hold that much value mm. as in like a limited edition pair of shoes. That's that crazy. I just gave away a bunch of those shoes. So. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I, that's why I st- after my mom, my mom, I remember my mom told me to give away the GameCube, sell the GameCube, sell the GameCube. Your, your, your cousin's Ethiopia won it. And this was like when the PS3 came out. I was like, I don't want to do that, mom. I don't kind of want to keep this. Well, she's like, that's nobody that's thinks about that stuff, though, in the time. Like, now you Nobody thinking, never does, no. Nah, I it's did. so much stuff. I would have kept, I mean, kept my you, Pokemon cards. Most people did. Yeah, exactly. I would I, I, I have kept Pokemon you know cards, Yu-Gi-Oh you know cards, GameCube. I would have kept everything. Honestly, you know what I mean? Like, holographic Charizards, I've like I've visibly seen and touched in my lifetime. And now, all of a sudden, that shit is worth, like, $4,000. Yeah, like, if you like, just but, put it in the right packing. But that's just hoarding. You kept all that stuff, like, knowingly. If you knew as a six-year-old, all this shit, by the time you get older, it'll be worth thousands. You'd just be hoarding. Wait, what? You'd be hoarding. It's not what hoarding is at all, John. Huh? That's not if what you, hoarding is. If you're is. hoarding something, you know it's going to be valuable. That's not hoarding. That's called holding. But I mean, like, you... It's preserving. But I mean, like, that's a lot of stuff you'd be holding from, the, like, you know, that's be 17 years of stuff no, as a kid. No, there was no lack no. of Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards were... Man, yeah, if you wanted Pokemon cards, you can get Pokemon cards. It's not like they ran out of cards to get No, them. I'm that saying... Was, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, back in I'm, the day, it was No, like I'm saying abundance. is keeping that stuff. Like, say you went back to being six and you knew what you knew now. But, like, that's a lot of stuff to hold all the way till you get to your age, 70. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep all that stuff and preserve it. That's yeah, like. That's, for 70, that's crazy. That's crazy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Especially me. But we only talking about game, like GameCube. I'm not talking about I'm holding every single last game I own. If I knew, I'm just I would hold GameCube. everything. If I knew everything had value. Bro, I bought an N64 with four I'm controllers, all the PS2 two memory cards, GoldenEye, Castlevania in mint condition. A who? For three hundred dollars, all of that shit I just said: four controllers, two memory cards, N sixty four, Castlevania, Goldeneye. How much did Dreamcast go for now? Because I remember, I remember and, when and they that stopped. That goes for eight hundred now. I bought it for three hundred. That was two years ago. I, I I remember when Dream. I remember when they made when they um they put out the news that they're gonna stop making Dreamcast and they're gonna stop making PS ones. Mm-hmm. And I remember when that news broke and everybody was like, "Oh, like immediately." I remember that was the first time I remember when prices just start sh- shooting up for things. My uncle would just have one in in his room. It was just like, yeah. Shit, you didn't even know but it's like about it's on. yeah. John's right. It's about scarcity because PS ones are still really affordable now. Yeah. Like Tekken arcades, it's all about there's scarcity. Only a, a few dozen of those. They go for for four thousand, five thousand each, um, because there wasn't much of those. But PS ones, they were sold a lot. Yeah, I wonder how much a Dreamcast goes. So. They're they're not that expensive. You can go to there's a store like ten minutes north from here. Yeah. Where you can where you can get them at. It gotta be it gotta be high interest. I imagine too. it's gonna be like 100, 150 maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's not that It'll crazy. be high interest like stuff like especially like really what's most popular now is in the vintage community. You got like band tees, uh, artist tees, especially if they passed away. Uh, like vintage, like originals, not reprints. Niggas will have reprints. They're not worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be original from that manufacturer back then. Like. Uh, or sports tees, the NASCAR tees are really heavy right now. Yeah, that, that's what would trip me out. The NASCAR tees, the NASCAR tees, and like um, original old like Superman tees, concert tees too. Like where they have the dates yeah. on the back, like original. Like you get like a Selena tee, like in a nice print, or a Whitney Houston original mm. concert tee. Like those hold a lot of value. Or but John, when they, what's the name? Johnny Cobain? I don't know. Or Coco Bain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Jack Coco Cobain. Coco Cobain? Kurt Cobain. Yeah, Kurt Cobain. But when it when it when the Superman came out, they gave they gave people t shirts who went to the um theater to go premiere? watch it. Yeah, they went to the premiere and watch it. And like that that, that was that profitable. T-shirt. I mean, anything uh, that's well, limited. T shirt probably t shirt costs like at in bulk if you made millions, probably still cost you like six, seven dollars to make it. The thing is, is like when <laughs> it's, it's a uh Right now, it's a seller's market. So, say something gets limited, people base it based off what somebody sells it for. So, say a pair of shoes come out, it's 100 made. I get it first. I set the bar. I'm going to put on Grail or put on eBay for $700. So, now that's the first. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's an asshole move. But now, everybody else is basing their price similar to that one. So, if I would have came out low... I would have put my first one out of 300 niggas, but I don't got that much resale value. They'll kind of base their price around that. But it's based as a seller's market. So once everybody do that, then you're going to start buying it. Like if somebody put theirs at 700 and most of it's at 300, you're going to like, that nigga's smoking guns. You know what I'm saying? I'm not buying it from him. But if everybody, if 25 listings, and it's, say it's 25 out of 30 listings and they are like 700, that's the base. Isn't that the same for um, houses right now? 
No, houses are more, um, houses are, uh, no, it's not, it's not really the same thing. Okay. Cause I, I, I keep, cause I know for a fact, there's a lot of people who, who are buying, who are like the house would be listed at something and people are still willing to pay more than what it's that, listed. That's, that's always, that's been the case for the last 10 years <clears throat> okay. in North America. Uh, more so now because there's less inventory right now. Um, and it's, I don't think it's getting any better neither. Uh, and I'm about to buy my second house in like a month too. So. Where you gonna buy that? I'm gonna see if I can buy this one. Mm. If you let me, I'm gonna buy this one. If not, I'm gonna buy something in this area. Fashion's booming right now, though. Fashion is booming. I, I, you already, you already know. Y'all see my drip. Yeah, we do. I'm I wish I cared, too. bro. Not I wish, I wish I cared too. I really don't. Like, I, I care. I, I, I just don't s- care right now. Like, right when I get my money up, my bread straight, and I got investments, and I'm making like. Y'all so, money, so, so all right, let me talk you about y'all money. I'm making y'all money. Nigga, I'm broke, bro. Stop. He's, no, nah. he's a millionaire. He's Shut been fucking. He's been telling y'all niggas I'm broke. for years. He's nigga, a millionaire. Nigga, I'm broke. Do not let Lo lie to you. He's nigga, a millionaire. I'm nigga. broke. He's a nigga, millionaire. I'm broke. Hey, can I talk to y'all? I'm distraught because Kai showed me something today. Oh, wait, I, don't buy something in this neighborhood. Why not? Not in this neighborhood in this area. This area doesn't appreciate that much, but I can rent the shit out of it though. You can. But yeah, you're right. It does not. Such a good area. Has a great view. Is close to the city. Good school. It's safe. Safe, but you what you said in the beginning is right. It, it doesn't, doesn't appreciate, appreciate that much. But it depends on if you're doing for rental. I guess so, yeah. But it does not appreciate that much. Hey, okay, so I, you know what I'm saying when I went to LA, I saw everybody in like Bentleys and Rolls Royces. Now mm. I wanted to get a Rolls Royce eventually. Mm. Oh, you saw you? Hey, you saw his? You saw his brother? Mm. So that's by, by that nigga, so my on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so what? your after, cousin bought a my bar. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So when nigga. I went, when I went to LA, I cool. saw everybody with the rolls. The, everyone had the color in. No, I didn't see one phantom. Mm. But still, I was like, damn. So everybody got the rolls. Never, never mind, bro. Never mind. Yeah, what, you know, no, so what? I was on a hunt. Like you know, say, what's my car? You know what I'm saying? Now on my YouTube homepage, roll cars popped up, and they showed me what that 2021 my box is looking like. I said, what? And this car goes for like 250 SUV or the car? The sedan. The sedan. The, not the GLS. I'm talking about the regular sedan. The, that oh, shit, the sedan. It's that shit is it's long. As, it looks like a limo, how long it is. It's fast as fuck. It's the most... It's, it's, it's Mercedes engineering. But that's the... Um, I'm, 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 if I say it right, a Maybach. My box. My box. My box. My box. My back. So then, so then I thought like... <laughs> my bro, back. I don't know nobody who has a My box. And... And all honesty, I can go get one right now, very Wait. easily. But why would you get I'm, that? I want to get homes first. You know what I'm saying? I want to get my money up first. Oh. So I'm. I put a pause on it. Right? Tell me how two weeks ago, I saw the baby say it was his favorite car in the song, and I'm now at this point I'm sweating bullets because you know when the rappers start well, talking about it, that one everybody's right gonna start whining. <laughs> hey, be, hey, be, be careful, careful with that one. Go you know follow what I'm that nigga's lead. That nigga, that about to lead you to losing <laughs> shit. That boy will get you canceled. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are, I'm already wearing some cancelable shit currently. To be fair <laughs> though, to be fair, is mad comfortable. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, wait, you say, wait. You better call him by it's his old name. It's comfortable merch. So Kai's like, "Yo, agent, didn't you say you wanted the Maybach?" I was like, "Yeah." Man, I'm, you say I'm about to pull to the dealership just see what they talking about. He's like, "Hey, look at this." Shows me DDG's IG. I'm pissed. Oh, DDG just bought. One. Oh, he, he just, just bought that. Bought I'm one. pissed. Oh, he did. And he, made, and he made a video about him buying it. Too. I'm pissed. Dang. On oh, YouTube, straight off the iPhone. So you know what that means now? That nigga DDG. Everybody's legit. about to get a Maybach. That nigga DDG legit makes ten thousand dollars off of, off the iPhone a video. <laughs> no kidding. It's the wildest. You really Dang, think about so he it? He bought a Maybach, but it's like for. <laughs> Crazy. If he like, makes really? about 10 videos in the Maybach, he would have made his money back. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And he will. He will, he will, he will. He, he will definitely make off 10. Of, off of iPhone, he in will. In the front seat, two in the front, I'm one in the back. <laughs> He's about to pull at two least. Two car tours. That nigga's at least about to pull fucking uh, a custom in garage. the back seat pranks. That nigga's about to pull off three of those. No cap. No, and, and you know you're catching this truck, right? It's a big yeah. car. He could do a five sum in the back seat. You know, that's, yes. what, but that's what I'm saying. A Maybach. Will only my, be like a, a Maybach. My my box. My back. My bad. My back. My back was only cool because I mean, like, I wouldn't want one. I'd be like to be driven in one if I had a driver. Because the best part is the back seat. No, not necessarily. If you like to drive, the best part's always the front seat. But I see what you're saying. A Maybach. Yeah, because it's it's just, it's a V12, and the reason the Rolls Royces are so smooth is because it's a V12. It feels like you're just floating in. Why'd you get air. the SUV? Why don't I get it? Yeah, the two tone SUV. Uh, like SUV? Bear people have the GLSs in in the area I live in. Oh, the it's, new it's one. It's a popular car. Yeah, the new GLSs, the ones that like have that bounce feature. They bounce for real. 
Oh yeah, they have like hydraulic bounces. There, it's practically made so that if you're stuck somewhere, the car can shake its way out. But it looks like one of them, like two thousand one West Side L.A. Oh. Like it, the car oh. is on hydraulics. It bounces. I thought somebody just did that for his video because he was standing on. I think I don't know, or somebody was on his on two May box on my backs. It was on two my backs. Long both times. They was just oh. jumping. But um, that's crazy I, though. No, nah, no, nah, it's a beautiful car. I just, I don't, I'm not, I don't have family. I don't Big up to DDG though. You know what I'm saying? No, no cap. No cap. He ain't got a family. Either. He just has a YouTube channel. No, that's why he didn't get. That's why he didn't get the GLS. Back up? That's why he got the regular my box. Huh? His YouTube's back up now. I don't know if it's back up. I just know he recorded that video to up to me, obviously for a write up. I mean, we all know what it is. But then what's crazy is YouTube. That nigga will stop uploading, and as soon as he uploads, YouTube is like every nigga. That is black would want to see this video. This is just such an inspiration. Not any nigga, but they just send that shit out. Yeah, like, they, he he that must nigga know you recommended. Him and So Luminati <laughs> will get recommended. It don't matter if you went on a three month hiatus. Let me check my YouTube right now. Let me see what pops up. If I see him, hey, you bro. know what? Let me pop on my YouTube. Real quick my YouTube. I legitimately haven't watched a DDG video in months, and even I knew that shit came up. I was like, oh man. And I it, seen the car on. I thought he was just like standing in front of. It. I didn't know he just bought it. I seen he took an Instagram picture good. with a car and some bands yeah, on his yeah. chest. Uh, okay, I see Graham Stephan, Charisma on Command, right Coffeezilla, Cold right Fusion. Now. He dropped oh. it early today. Oh, I see it. It's not on Did my. Did you shit. miss me? You see it? Did you miss me? DDG three days ago. Yep, I see it. Five hundred k. I see it. <laughs> I see but it. he's in Lambo right now. Three hundred thousand dollar my buck. I had to click on this video, guys. Fuck. So I gotta find a new car, basically. All oh, of that man. to say, I gotta find a new car. That's crazy. You know who's gonna be in the trunk, right, Low? Filming some videos. All right, Brianna Green. How many TP videos can she do with that car? How many car to- tours can she do outside before DDG finally lets her inside the car? <laughs> DDG locked me out. <laughs> DDG let me in. <laughs> The back seat. <laughs> DDG locked I me out. I can't believe it has this feature. <laughs> this car does it all. He let me drive it. Yo, um, I crashed it. <laughs> I crashed it as well. <laughs> you crashed I, my my bark, and you're gonna have to work for me for a long time to pay it off. You're not gonna work for me. You gonna work I for cra- God? I, I crashed DDG's. <laughs> you gonna work for God? <laughs> you work for God. <laughs> I crashed DDG's my bark is actually a really good. Uh, I crashed DDG my bark. DDG let me drive his my bark. No cap. No, I'm gonna I go to a, in the trunk of DDG my box for 24 hours. Y'all think I y'all think I could pull off getting a drive uh, a test drive on that if I dress all spiffy and pull up in my M4? You don't gotta dress spiffy. You just show your account. Niggas know. Are you just pulling one? That's of your a cars. really good point. Like yeah, you don't yeah. gotta. That's a really. I'm gonna niggas, print out niggas, bank statements and pull niggas up. Niggas know you have it. Like I'm so dead ass. Like, that it might be the matter. You don't gotta dress. They just make you like you're trying too hard. Like you don't wear this every day. You just wear what you wear. You walk in, niggas not take you seriously. I'm saying you do your business elsewhere. I know there's there's some TikTok um, car salesmen who say different. They say if you come in there with like pajama pants or you know if, if you come in looking like you're not trying, they just know not to even talk to you. That's they lost. He's dumb. What you mean? You know, I went to a Cadillac dealership. If I'm and- walking in that in a business like that. Either I'm playing games or I'm serious. If I'm coming in there and I know what I want, and you're not gonna help me, discrimination. That's a bad salesman. I put up to a Cadillac dealership to get a CTSV. I was gonna buy that car. Uh, and he didn't take me seriously because I came in my Honda. This is back when I was driving my Honda. Uh, I, I was like, man, fuck this shit. So I went to a nearby dealership and I left that day with my AMG. You know, you know what y'all do? So that's just a I bad would deliberately right leave there. something that I don't really care about, like a, a Dave and Buster's card or something. Because I was going to buy one that day, leave it and pull back in my new car and say, yeah, I left something. I was trying to buy a car here, but you're, you really had bad customer service. I left my Dave and Buster's car here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just bought that out there. I just That's did. That's a fucking phenomenal video idea. And don't take it. I'm about to. <laughs> you saying don't take it? I'm about to though. <laughs> I but I, I did the same when I just bought my car. I did the same exact. I ain't, when I think. But if I, I do it first, I'm oh, gonna buy me a yeah. Kia. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get this nigga. No, you, well, you think you can just rent, just rent out a rent out a um, which car and drive oh, yeah. back up there and act like it's yours? Oh yeah, I can borrow your car. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull. <laughs> up, <laughs> you the idea. Let me. I'm gonna pull up my 2008 Range Rover to test drive. Uh, a Rolls Royce, and he, they're gonna say no, and I'll be like, I, I mean, I'm and I'll be like, my bad, and I'm gonna have an M4 in the cut. I'm like, no, yo, I just I drive his Toyota. <laughs> yeah, but the, I'm gonna get no you offense, but I'm gonna get rejected. Gonna <laughs> I'm gonna that's get it, rejected that's that's expeditiously. That's the point. That's you the drive point. my shit, they definitely not gonna take you serious. <laughs> <laughs> boy, them boys gonna think you lost. <laughs> <laughs> they may think you do, they gonna come to the opposite window, knock on it, say DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna think. 
<laughs> they drive that nigga shit, hop out in pajama pants, and be like, I want to I want test drive that new Maybach. Nigga, you're not going to get nothing but technical support or the, or the service center. <laughs> Sorry, we don't do test drives. Or will you go there and be like, I'm about to trade it. I'm trying to trade it. Like, yo, <laughs> Would you trade this in for some parts? Oh, yo, I'm not gonna, that's a bag of video idea. <laughs> oh, I need shit. to come up with a title for that. Fucking with uh, car dealerships. I'm going to go to the one that I bought two cars from. Don't take me serious. Dude, I mean, so dude. And they have they have RSQ eights there. No, they don't let me drive one. I have to go to one that won't let me drive one. But yeah, they they did the same thing with my car. I went I went to um I was actually close to almost buying um a cheap little um what um a uh, Highlander. That'd have been I'm better. Be the best idea, but they but they didn't, he didn't he didn't take me. I serious. wish I wish you bought a was, Forerunner, bro, and, and I was lifted actually, it. And I was actually pissed off that he didn't take me serious. I was actually very pissed. I was like, nigga, like well, you came in like that. I came in with no. I came in with my. <laughs> I came in with my my jorts. Oh hell! No. My, oh. my my jean shorts and where'd you go to? It is a Toyota dealership. Okay, stop it. I, I, I stop, think, stop, I'm stop still stop thinking it. Atlanta Luxury Motors. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't a Toyota dealership. Who was it? It was. It wasn't Toyota. It was Suzuki. Exactly. No, 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 Suzuki is crazy. That is very crazy. Subaru. No, it wasn't Subaru, bro. Where you at, Mitsubishi? No. Was it like a used car place? No, no, no. This is like a, a regular dealership, but I guess somebody just traded in that car to get. Word. What dealership were you at? I can't remember which one it was, though. It wasn't Toyota because I just went across the street to the Toyota one and got the car I got. Oh. Damn. Car salesmen are so dumb. Is it Pugmire? I can't remember. It's, it's like one of those strips where like literally all of the main dealers are at. It wasn't Ford either. I can't remember. But. Low? I had something in my mouth. Oh, okay. And now it's on the floor. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Where no one's ever going to pick it up. Um, It'll be there for life. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, y'all, they be doing that. I understand, though. And they, when they ask me, they're like, well, are you are you interested in buying something today? That's how they, that's how you first came to me. It was like, yeah, I guess I, I'm, I could be. I don't know. Like, I don't know what y'all got. And I don't know how I many, what if y'all going to like treat me right. But I just say, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in buying something. He said, like, okay. That's not, uh, uh, I'll be. And then, are you. <laughs> Are you interested in helping me today? <laughs> <laughs> Are you interested in buying? Maybe. Or maybe not. Let me see. You got something for me to buy? It was, it was ridiculous. I wasn't. I was I was kind of like, he already already gave me, like, I was pissed off. Oh, yeah, how you doing today, sir? What's your name? And I didn't even, what's crazy is I, I left out there and I didn't even have to put no money down on the car. So I was like, mm. Mm. how you doing? Okay, okay. You looking that's to finance? That's how they get you. And you have to say yes. Look oh, that. that's the other thing. That's the other thing. They'll, they'll say uh, yeah, this, this is some tips right here. Car buying tips for y'all, especially the young ones. If a nigga come, if they come to you and they say, yo, like, yo, you trying to, uh, you buying a car, you, you want to finance, right? How many, uh, which, which one's your payments look like on a month to month basis? Nigga, if you tell them that nigga is that, you're done. You're, you're fucking done. Cause either they're going to try to, they don't tell you what the interest rate is and they don't tell you how long they're going to stretch that shit out. No, never go in there and tell them you're buying cash ever. And don't tell Ever. them that either. But, until I mean, last but minute. The average, but the average people until are not buying cash. Last, until last minute, don't tell them you're buying cash. you about cash. to sign a contract for the lease and say, I'm going to pay cash. You know this what? Price. Now that we got the price down, I'm paying cash. This this the final right here? <laughs> <laughs> 87000 like, oh, yeah, uh, cents. Come on. <laughs> like, you know man, what? Forget all this paperwork. Cash, cash, right, here, man. <laughs> right, right here. man. Yeah, and they're gonna be pissed. He's like, oh, come on. Bro. You, you would have fucked their margins up if you do that right there. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to go do some, some, some rearranging and whatnot. I'm about to do rearranging. Mm-hmm. rearranging. This, this was the final price right here. Final price, you said after all your numbers, you said this came out for the deal for me. <laughs> you said you, you said you had me out today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a deal of a lifetime. That's what you told me right. Lock me in. Here's you ain't my lying cash. Lying to me now, huh? <laughs> this ain't a lying establishment, huh? <laughs> get loud. <laughs> get loud. Yeah, get loud. You ain't lying to this bitch now, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nah. You didn't tell your customers anything, huh? You said it's the price you made for me. <laughs> That's the uh, other thing. When they take you on a, on a, um, maybe they let you. I also drove into the, I actually drove the Highland area. That was really prepared to buy it. And he just pissed me off the way he was talking to me. I was like, bro. Yeah, yeah if, you don't, if you don't have respect for me, it's like, damn, like, if I came into your job and then judged how shitty of a salesman or great of a salesman you was based on like how you looked, then I I, I, I imagine he wouldn't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just keep it keep it a flat line. And, you know, let me show you who I am, dog. You know what I'm saying? We haven't even gotten to the bank accounts yet. You know what I'm saying? I and, could that's, be- and that's when they change their 
that's that's when they change it on By then it's by then it's too late though. Yeah, I mean, I'm already pissed. Sometimes sometimes I get petty though, low key. Like when I know that they think when I know that they know I don't have money, I I play into it a little bit just to bother them. And then like I'll reveal that like whole time I could afford it. But I don't want your car though. Like you, you know dealerships when they, when you come in there and you got money, you look like you have money, they rush out like sharks, like blood in the water. I swear, they be bro. They waiting for you. Yes. If you pull up and they think you don't got no money, you be sitting there. You gotta walk all so, the way to the desk. Another, write another, your name down. Another one was I went to. I went You're to, searching for a salesman. I went for a salesman. Are you available? I'm, I'm working with somebody. I'm giving him that best price. I'll be back later. I went when I, I went. We went to the um, Hyundai dealership because we want my girl wanted the new Sonatas that look actually really good for the price that they are. Mm-hmm. And we had to do the exact same thing. Walked around <laughs> out out the lot. I mean, not a nigga came Walk to around. us. Walked inside. <laughs> yeah. Nigga didn't hand us no mask or nothing. nothing. You could you could see low like on the oh, car window. Was, you know what it was? Looking in the vehicle. <laughs> you, know, you know what it was? It was Audi. That's what it was. What? It was Audi. The, the Highlanders at Audi. Which one? Oh, you definitely. Which dealership? Um, the one over here. I went to that dealership. That's where I bought my M4. You think you gonna say the name? I went to the. I, I went. I mean, I went to Audi Atlanta and Audi Marietta. What, what is this nigga? What are you doing, bro? Bro, I'm I mean, you know what really matter. Okay, it's we'll AMP this, Day in Atlanta. We'll bleep. We'll bleep it out. I went to Audi Atlanta to get. <laughs> I went to Audi Atlanta to get my SQ5, and I went to Audi Marietta to get my M4. I know those guys. Mm. Really? I have. I have a couple of their numbers in my phone, and they treated me like that. Word. Man, that's crazy. Like when you get to looking like around, walk around a lot, niggas normally meet you, but then they don't come out, man. They just thinking like this nigga not buying they, they, nothing. They didn't come out. Man, they this nigga the, hard looking. Up? When I tell you they opened the door for me, they had two they salesmen know. fighting over me. Like, you wanna take him? Uh, you wanna, I got this one. I got this one. And then as soon as I went to Toyota, it was just that. They was niggas fighting you know over what? Me, all that stuff. To the point where the car I wanted wasn't even at the dealership. So they drove me. In a Porsche to the place it actually was, and then we went on a drive through around Atlanta, and then we brought the car back. And I see, was like, I want that car. See, see, see. That, that's <laughs> why I you never did. You that. don't have money. They're like, yes, at that location. Here's the address. They may they may print it out or send me a text. He's like, you want to do you want to drive the Porsche? <laughs> we can have it here probably tomorrow. Nigga, it, was, it was it was a used Highlander. Like the Ooh. margins that they should have got it for is probably gonna be solid margins. More than good margins. Oh yeah, it's at our it's at our sister location. We can have it here for you tomorrow. But you got money. Hop I, in. I'll take I, you right now. I, <laughs> in my car. But the but the but the um the the <laughs> Hyundai the Hyundai one was worse. So we literally walked around. Nigga said, "My Hyundai's are like like you can get a, a brand new Hyundai sedan for like thirty thousand. Like they're niggas very the, cheap." Niggas gonna start fist fight when hear his car come in. <laughs> That's how he's in the show. Nah. Nah, nah. You thirsty? You thirsty? You hungry? <laughs> All that. Burger. None, none of that. None of that. Niggas didn't give me nothing. But when I went to Toyota, they were like, oh, we can give you something to drink. You want something to drink? Yeah. We can, they, they you all that. Bro. Yeah. And I literally. Audi dealership where they disrespected you? I went to the I went to the cafe because they have a cafe in the dealership. And none of that. No, I, I wasn't showing none of that. <laughs> and I was like. None of that. I was like. Yeah, how I was much? hella thirsty when I got my car. Bro. I was hungry. I looked at some <laughs> shit and I was like, how much is that? And he's like, you know what? I got you. And they started giving me things from the cafe for free. I was like, this is brilliant. So we'll eat order oh, yeah. McDonald's and he was furious because I was just, I have free cafe food. Yeah, that shit was incredible. They treated me fantastic. I may do a test and go up there and see how they treat me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I like, yo, I'm I, hungry, bro. I, I got I'm food hungry. in a bit. <laughs> you don't? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. The minimum machine work, right? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You got, you got a couple quarters to spare? Yeah, I just come. You should do that. Have me go in and my Toyota to see how they treat, and then you come in next. Oh, that's a bang. And you're like, oh, Dean, and you got another one? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm walking in and say, yeah, man, I'm just looking around. You know what I'm saying? I've that's been working also hard. bad. If you tell them I'm, I'm, just, I'm just looking, they're going to be like, all right. No, you have but to, if you you come have to in, say, like, Floyd, I was online and I saw this car. That's if, how you treat it. If Floyd come in and say he's just looking around, they're going to be on his ass anyway. But they know Floyd, though. They know Floyd. If you, if you, if you, are, if somebody just, they've never seen before. You say you're just looking. But if he comes like in that. in his car and they never seen him before, he said, I'm just looking. I'm trying to You were just looking something. or you knew what you were going to buy? No, I was going there saying I saw this online. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, so you knew a Pacific car you wanted? Yeah. yeah. That's, I, how, I, that's how you treat it. That's, I, that's how I treat it. Oh, so I got to find a car that I, that I can't dealership. afford that I want and then go there and be like, yeah, I was online looking. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's, that's another one. Also, they they they're, pull they're, up just like that with a white tank top on. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go, go like a. I want to see like a fake drug dealer. 
So the trap been jumping lately, man. What's oh. your name, Steve? <laughs> trap been jumping lately, Steve. How you doing? I found this online right here. A little light hundred thousand, right? Niggas ain't looking at this, ain't they? I know they ain't Steve. Hit him on the chest. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't looking at this. They looking for this, right, Steve? They're like, yeah. You, you know Young Thug, right? My cousin, man. You know my mm. cousin. Oh, word? Ask him, like, do you guys take hundreds or no? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take hundreds. I'll take cash, right? I got them new bills with Harriet on them. I, I got them new right. bills, and man. Yo, and get like a duffel bag and be like, "Nah, I got cash on me." And get like yeah. a duffel, like an empty duffel bag. Like you looking at finance? Uh, he, once he say finance, gonna bust out laughing. You know what I'm saying? You looking fine? Steve, <laughs> you funny as fuck, Steve. I'm playing cash, man. I'm I told you, I told you, Steve. And throw up like jumping. a couple sets too, cash, like in man. the middle. Hop on like a, a Facebook Live. So I make like, a fake song. I buy buy, only buying cash and just play my shit. <laughs> Steve, dude, I ain't financing. Man, listen to this shit, Steve, right quick, man. I That's a banger cat, video. Cat. And and like hop if he lets you get in the whip and connect your phone and play like the the most gangster song that shit. imaginable. I kill people. Like I die tonight. Like kill <laughs> no, which, I, which, I don't want you know. I don't want to check out the studio. It beats it, Steve. <laughs> hold on, let me connect my shit right quick, Steve. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, disconnect your shit right God. quick, Steve. Let that me that. No, that's what you should do. You said when you in the car, we seeing way too much on camera. But when you when you in the car, Ooh. record record it like you just like got yeah, that, got and then that turn it all the way up and blow the speakers. Got, got got that new shit. Got that new got that new Mercedes. And then you call nigga like yo, pull up on me, cause I got that motherfucker right oh. now. Oh yeah, pull up on me right now. Oh yeah, man. Now. Oh you ain't gonna believe this too. I'm gonna be right now going eighty with my boy Steve. Say what's up, Steve? Yeah, my boy Steve. <laughs> right now we didn't motherfucking lit. Say on God, where you at right now? You at a chicken spot? I'm on the east side. Scoop you right now, man. Shit, Steve, you got me right. Okay, can we go put some gas in there? We gonna go right now, man. Woo! <laughs> you, got, you, you got the girls in the back. Hey, get one for my boy Steve. What's up? You like you like black girls? Ah, you, you know do. what's so crazy? Don't I think that. I dead ass think a lot of businessmen do that though. Huh? Businessmen, I, th- I think they dead ass, especially like in the shirt. Oh, I see my homeboy tell them jump in when they try to do some deals. I mm-hmm. bet you, I bet you, no white businessmen they get it, they get they get crazy in the, in a strip club, no cap. They do. They just trying to get any deal done. You know about how how you gonna get I done? I work at I work at the top tier hotel. I see it all. Sugar daddies. That's it, a, how can we never you, you don't have no you ain't got no stories for yeah, us. What the oh, fuck, what, what's going on, I, 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 I keep it confidential. Hey, Jump. You can what? I keep it confidential. Shut your dumb ass business. up, nigga. It's a podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chuck. <laughs> nigga, you work at a hotel and bunch of niggas of money come. Yeah. How many times do you see sugar babies or prostitutes? Be honest. Keep it a bean. Every day. Mm-hmm. I got one on my phone and she look out for me. She come in with her sugar daddy. She gave me. So I think she She's almost gonna gave be me your almost two hundred dollars in one mother. day. Mother, huh? She gave you two hundred dollars? Yes. Why? Well, she gave me eighty when she got there, uh, and uh, she was like, she was mini. She's like, you, you she came parked the fuck out that car. I ain't do nothing. It's because <laughs> I lost weight. I look good in my little bowling shirt. They gave me. And I be just, I'd be, I'd be talking to him. I'd be, I'd, I'd be so smooth. That's how we started our conversation today. When he was in another room, this nigga said, "I lost weight." So well, no, no, no. Look at this. He look girls at me on me all the time. <laughs> no, look at it. Look at it. Look and at he, this. He, he did. No, can you just show me a photo? He, he has lost a lot of weight. Look at this. This is two I months know. ago. I've been telling you, John. I've been touching your pet. Look at his cheeks. Look at his face. Look how fat. Look how fat I look. Yeah, lift your shirt right now. Nigga, what? Nigga, that, what? I'm not doing that. No, I mean like, I just want to see <laughs> his, what to see his ass. Look at this, look at this now. God damn. damn. His face is definitely chiseled. Yeah, man. Oh, cat. Yeah. yeah. I could tell just from your arms. Your arms also, are leaner. Bro, but him lifting his shirt ain't got nothing to do with his face. No, because his, his chest pops out now. He showed you his face. His chest pops out now. That nigga showed you his face, damn, not his boy, stomach. Boy, you been doing your squash taking pants off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> There's damn, a difference between taking your shirt you, off boy, and your you pants. You change your diet, get naked. <laughs> So I can really see. Hey, I see you've been working out. Dean Low, take your clothes off too. <laughs> Y'all both get naked. So I can see Dean body better. Hey, the nigga <laughs> told me to take something off to get a better feel of how I lost nigga weight. talking about, damn, you like my new glasses? You like my new glasses? <laughs> take everything off so I can just see your glasses only. Take everything off. Hey, man. But nah, it's but like nah. You, uh, you yeah, so she came in. She, she reminded me of the girl from White Chicks. Uh, okay. <laughs> Which <was> one? A- <laughs> 
Because it was some men. <laughs> Marlon Wayans, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that one. I go, which one? Oh, Marlon. Fuck. Marlon. Oh, shit. Because she got like, she had like a bow tie job. It wasn't really good. You know when white girls get extra stuff done where it's just like, it just don't look good, but they like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, I, I kind of like, sort of what you're You know what I'm saying? Like, they get the lips that is like not, they yeah. don't look right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What I'm talking about. Like, she had your lips. But and she shouldn't because she's she, white. She shouldn't. Yeah. It's not because she's white. It just didn't fit her face. Like, she probably shouldn't need, need Dean's lips. What my lips look like to you? You don't have, like, <laughs> the biggest of bottom lip as I do. Look carefully. I'm looking. You're, 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 I don't think your bottom lip is as big as mine. He's you, you, you ever seen Fat Boy SS? You know Fat Boy yeah. SS? I feel Kiss like his girl. It's like. Kiss his girl? Yeah. It's like his Who's lips his girl? eat her face up. Like John, on, oh bad, bad, back to the story. Because yeah. I need, I need because you, I, <laughs> I, I, now that I really think what about it, John. Fuck? But I see everything. You probably see a bunch of crazy stuff daily, and then you come on a podcast and don't say nothing about it. Because and also, I'm, I'm not gonna act. We're not gonna act like I don't. I didn't forget that you was all of a sudden pissed off at someone. Some woman in the no, last no, I wasn't, podcast. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't mad at no, 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 no you were. I yes, heard you were. Voice. I heard no, no, no. Yeah, you were. That, that was just that was just. I don't trust no it, bitch. That just. I don't trust bitches. I don't. I don't. <laughs> He's like, hey, let's get that clear. Though, I don't. I don't. But it's not. Let's not get that. It was the way in which that misconstrued. Now it was the way in which you said it. It felt so fresh in your heart. Oh, nah, not really. I just don't trust them every day. I mean, I trust. Don't trust them every day. So I guess it's fresh. It's never spoiled. Um, but uh, back to the white girl that like Marlon Wayne. Um, so she came in and she was like, "Yeah, um, can you keep me up like close, please? I'm going shopping at nine thirty. So I was just like, "Yeah, yeah." That's so like an event for her. That's so fucking hilarious. Yeah, she's going shopping. Uh, sponsored by her sugar daddy. Uh, so he came out and I she got the car. Wait, and she gave you money. He gave her. Huh? Yes. Yes, that's what they always do. They look out for me. Yeah, how is she? Where is she going to get money from? Yeah, if I was a sugar, a if I was a sugar no, daddy. But no, no. She just don't care about the money because she's just getting it from him. So exactly. she, she just gives it out. So I helped but her out. But she's not going to be that forever, though. So she might as well start saving up and investing. She, in you see okay. what she look like? She's she dumb, said she bro. has an appointment to go shopping. That's what I'm saying. She's dumb. It's not going she's nowhere. Not, Niggas it's always no, go sponsor that. There's no sugar baby who's sitting there telling us stuff like, I need to really start focusing on my 401k. Yes, they... I'm, well, I, I can't say that because I don't know. I Botox imagine there's last some... Forever. I mean, there's some, but majority of them, no. Nah, I see all the sugar babies, bro. I'll be seeing girls how, my age. What are they? Out of, out of curiosity, also, what's some similarities between them? What, what no, would you say? Okay, before you answer that, can we get a distinction between like... What's going on? A sugar baby... And someone oh, getting checked on. Ask that question later. Okay, what, do okay, they, go ahead, go. what do they look like? How do you how do you become this esteemed sugar uh, baby? They look good. They like they like, like nines and up or what? Huh? Yes, they have four seasons. It's expensive. Like it's like nines and up. It's like you'll look at them and be like, oh, she's like. Just think about a nurse at a nursing home and the senior citizens. And think about how she looks walking by one of the people she's nursing. Okay. Now pitch it on the head. Now think about a girl like. Uh, who you know that's young, like around their twenties, twenty six. That looks really good. I mean, we it depends on what you want to. Just mean. give me an example. Some people uh, say Ruby Rose. No, no, no. Who's who's the girl, bro? The reporter. He blanked Taylor Rooks. Taylor Rooks. Bro. Taylor Rooks. Dime. Okay, Taylor Rooks walks in with Forrest Whitaker. What the fuck is that? It's an old nasty black dude. <laughs> Nah, oh, I, I was waiting for y'all to bust. I, 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 I was waiting for y'all to bust a laugh, but you don't know who that yeah, is, right, so right. it just made it. Really I know, I know what you're saying. <laughs> okay, because that would that's a good that's him definitely real quick. Taylor, look yeah, him up. Look, look him up. for for his Whitaker. Nah, you're, you're, you're right though. You're right though. That's a dead giveaway when you see a whole bunch of old men and it's like, oh, they don't be old. They just be like, 20, you didn't 25. bag, you didn't bag her with your game. You bagged her with your your uh, financial masculinity. Oh, I know this guy from shows. Yeah. Okay. Or you can think about uh, <laughs> I think you start laughing. Up. You know what I'm saying? Bill Cosby and Laura Harvey. Okay, you know so there's a huge age difference, and then one is beautiful, and the other one has a looks like. Or it'd be like it, it'd be these real like cool ass like, white guys, older white guys. It'd be cool. It'd be like forty something. It'd be, they take they take care of themselves. Like they look slim, but it'd be like a girl that like she just or she's about to graduate GSU. Like she like she like a, a junior or a senior in college that just graduated. So what do they do? Ago. Are they conversating with them in the lobby? How you see their interactions? They come out, or they'll come first, and then the girls will come in a, a private ride or an Uber or something. They'll get meet up there, exactly. and then I know who's together when they leave. 
They'll come out. Mm. So they'll come separately and meet at the bar, go to the room and whatever they do. But I had to keep most of the stuff confidential. Is that a, is that a sugar baby or is that a prostitute? That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, you just never know. But I mean, I say a sugar baby. I, I, I say a sugar baby is somebody. A prostitute. Um, Cause if they come I think it's Uber, both. I mean, if they fucking for money, it's a prostitute. Cause they're not, a, they're not there. Not there. Yeah. I guess so. Cause if, but it, I, I would say the difference is that like they're, they're if you, I'm assuming if you're a prostitute, you're not walking out together. Like y'all came separate and y'all probably leaving separate. I mean, if you're undercover, I mean, if you're a prostitute and like, you not, you know, risk of you getting in trouble. I mean, well, who's going like, to, I don't know why that's illegal. I still, yeah. I'm still kind of confused. Why like, prostitution is illegal. Yeah. I don't know why that's a, that's illegal. Like, Many people just do. I don't know why. We, I mean, because I don't I know mean, why. I don't want the government is acting like niggas just don't don't still do that shit. Because they that's just that's incentivized selling your body for money. That's kind of like slavery. Are you out of your mind? OnlyFans has <laughs> the, the, the amount of but like your physical body, that? not like not, not your virtual body. That like is their physical body. They're just monetizing like if, uh, it without having to fuck people. Huh? Yeah, it's still their physical body. What are you talking about? OnlyFans, but I'm saying like prostitution sex. is you, you're like meeting up and you're fucking for money. You know, the advertising industry it's too, it's has too. been spamming sex to sell things for decades now. Yeah, we have reached a point where we might as well. Yeah, well, what is the point? What are we <laughs> waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. Like what? Are, like dead ass. What are we waiting for? Like we we're I mean, at a, we're literally at the next. We're literally at one step. I away. think it's only illegal at motels. No, no, it's illegal across the board. But niggas do it every day. I mean, every, only every in day. motels you get. Caught. I, I don't even think they enforce it um, at motels. I don't think they I, I don't at think all. They, I don't think they Atlanta. enforce it at all. <laughs> like, how do you I get caught? Do they do they even arrest it for that? No, they, I don't think no, they do. Sometimes they do sting. They do sting operations. They do sting operations purposely to find those people. Oh, why? But then the bad ones. I don't, I don't know. You know how much money you're That's spending? That's a waste on of money trying to bust a prostitute. You feel, we're like, Got her. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're sucking dick. Fifty. Got you. <laughs> Jail time. Like, like you wait till she puts <laughs> her lips right on your dick. All right, dick. Up, all right, Lord, I need to go in. Hands behind your back. Yep, hands dick, behind your back, bitch. Dick is in mouth. Got her. Dick is in mouth. Get him now. <laughs> Dick's in and, mouth. And no, and don't no. I cut it all on my chest cam at an angle down. <laughs> <laughs> got her going, got her going. We got two skinny. Those niggas are sick. Niggas, sick. <laughs> the nigga who, nigga, the nigga who's on the brink of getting his dick sucked and say, "Got you." That nigga is. Bus said, "Got him. He's soft. Got him. Get him up. Bag him up. Bag him up. Take the fifty. Take the fifty. Put in the ziplock bag as evidence. The evidence. I don't understand. Wipe don't, your mouth, baby. Wipe your mouth. Wipe because, your mouth. Because that has the only difference is like if I record it and then upload it on OnlyFans, I is that that's not legal. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't know. I mean I don't, I don't yeah, I don't understand because people pay for money all the time. It's not it don't it, it, it doesn't have to be monetary. It could be like, okay, I buy you a bag or I buy your shoes, it's money value. So they're not necessarily giving you cash, they just give you something of the value that you offer your services for. Um, but yeah, I guess they do that all the time in my job. I, I just, I just want, and they, that I wholeheartedly. But it's like, that. but it's like, you know, what I'm saying they don't care about the temp, the top one percent, ten percent. They get, they do whatever they want to do anyway. They only but get caught if it's an issue. But it's people across the board. It's rich, average, and even poor men do, rich, who do that. Do rich people really get caught with prostitution. I don't. I don't the, the, here's the thing. I don't think really, really and truly, they really shouldn't care in the sting operation they How much do. Is the cost? I don't know. It's based on. Is the it girl. like under five hundred dollars? <throat> yeah. What the hell? That is a good deal. That's a waste of money. <laughs> no, it is. It's absolutely waste of money. But that's a good deal. All though, this really. free cooch. But I'm assuming if if you're of that elk of well, like rich people, they don't have time to like to court a woman to try to like convince them to give that them. That is a bargain. What the hell? True. I mean, yeah, if you're filthy rich and you just get a girl to say, "I'm gonna give you five hundred tonight to have dinner with me and suck me off." Yeah. No, not five hundred. I wouldn't even. These girls be bad, and I'd be looking at them. I don't care. I mean, and if, got, I'm, if I'm just when I to open the door night. and I see them and I see who they're with, I look at them. I'd be like, and she'll look back and smile. You think she's like, uh, she feels shame or she doesn't care? The fuck, she getting her yeah, back? She don't care. Yeah, I, I, I that's the, that's the point I make. I think so is it that, pride? Is it pride? At, at huh? that status, I don't think they care. She can't look shame. He got. She got to make him look good so she get more money. Exactly. Why at she that, don't get shame? At that status, I don't think. You're right. I don't think anybody cares. Yeah. I don't think there's in in that world of like top ten percent earners and higher. Yeah, them, they them do girls, not. They, they don't have a ball. They get they don't it. Care. Did I tell you she almost gave me two hundred dollars? She gave me eighty when she came, and then when her sugar daddy came, when they came to leave for uh, dinner, she gave me another hundred. What if he was like, "What happened to that two hundred I gave you?" Huh? And she was like, "I, I give it to she, the- he, He's he's giving her way more than two hundred to care about the two hundred that she gave. I don't know. As a person, you think she, he's gonna care about that? You giving her money, you already out bad. You don't got no game. 
you want her more than than she wants you, Man, and then so it's just sad. like. But I think I, but I, I truly believe at, the, at that level, I think everybody is aware enough to know where the lines. Yeah, are. what's she gonna say? I'm sorry, Dad. I just gave the valet two hundred dollars. He just did such a great job. Like he's oh. he's not about to go. Sp- yeah, he's not about to spaz out at two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I would. I bro. I gave you that money anyway to just do whatever you want to do with it. If you yeah. spending on t- on a valet, that's just oh that, you don't got decision. it, Daddy. You broke now. You broke now. <laughs> you cried over two hundred dollars. <laughs> You cried over two hundred dollars. Oh, you're broke now. Okay, bye. You're broke now. But see, but see. Okay, here's here's, here's such a sad reality. But here, here's the <laughs> thing. That to that extent, to where they like are in a relationship and they're out and about and they have dinner or you and have they a, talk a to husband. each other. Yeah, if you have a husband, they're gonna tell your husband. But see, that's that's. I think that's sugar baby or trophy wife or whatever. I just think like you smash y'all go your own way yeah. and then that's it. I see all the scandals before they came to the light. Mm. I was watching a video. I forgot who mm. I bought it. I was. I was. She gonna tell your husband? Who? What? Whoever. You, like the, <laughs> oh, so that's the other thing I was gonna ask. Do, do, does that? How? How? Oh often, how? Can you how believe often, I had a husband for a second? How, how, yeah, like, how, often, how often does that happen? She can blow what? my life up. <laughs> how, how, often, how often do you have to like probably have to hold something down that he like just pay y'all extra to, like. Be on a hush. Uh, like like, I haven't got paid off yet, but I know some people that have that seen certain stuff that weren't supposed to be seen, or like especially when the NBA player was on lockdown. Mm. Mm. They had some hoes in here. There's some I mean, hoes I mean, in I mean, this I mean, house. How many, how many John Collins trips did we get in, in the four seasons? Well, John Collins won't go here because he plays for Atlanta. How about the Phoenix Suns as a team? <laughs> I, think the, I think the worst was the Nets. The Nets? The worst was the Nets? The Nets were bad. Uh, Hornets. The Houston was bad when James Harden was still there. Um, uh, James Harden gets a text from Lil Baby and he's out. <laughs> what club? Actually, Where are we actually, headed? I actually heard that about the um, the Nets. That Kyrie, that Kyrie just be around with a bunch of a bunch of down. Women. But no, they be having a, a lot of girls. women. But I be seeing like I be. It made me want to work harder, bro. When I be seeing them girls That's there. I want you to make harder, huh? <laughs> that's, that's Go ahead, you, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'll be looking at them. I'll be like, bro, like, all, like you know what I'm saying? I already, women? Have, already have Riz, but it's just like some of these niggas there, like, have, they just get it because they have it. Like, not all of them spend on these girls. Girls just come there with hopes of getting it. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Which is wild. It's wild. I think that's actually the dumbest thing. That's in the worse. World. Like, you got niggas out here. I, I know the goofy that come here that be doing all the extra shit, run around, open the door, doing all that other shit. The See, niggas that don't care, they get out of the car, they fend for them fucking sell. Them hoes putting their shoes on, not getting right. Come on, hurry up. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. They be talking to them, like, especially Cardi. Cardi told that. She was like, Crazy girl told the Cardi, she's like, hey, can I drive? Nah, bitch, get in the passenger. She got her ass in the passenger. I'm a Cardi B. No, oh. Playboy Cardi. Oh, <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, you know, so you know, so crazy. <laughs> I, those, those, he said those she had to drive with no everybody there, and she got her like nigga be like, he's like, oh, can I drive? Nah, bitch, get in the passenger seat. Got her ass shut up. Got in the passenger seat. Those, those women though, no cap. I think those women are at the bottom of the totem pole. Out of all both men and women, and, how but, we, how but no, 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 they dish it out on the lower, the lower seats. So you know what I'm saying? She, they take it from the top ten. They dish it to the regular. To the right, re- yeah, that's a crazy. That's part. why they're acting that's all bougie. That's the craziest said part. Said like, like they'll take it from the niggas with money, uh-huh. and then all that built up, Adam, all that modesty, madness they get oh, yeah, from yeah, them, yeah. they'll dump it down on the regular niggas that try. But see, that's why I think those those women are at the bottom. Mm-hmm. They're at the bottom of the the totem pole in terms of like just both men and women in, in the dating pool. Because I don't I actually I don't think that the men who simp or spend money on pussy are at the bottom. I think the women who give away pussy for free and they get upset. When oh they yeah, get, like they'll. Like I think those. those I see those. Like bottom. I I know all the niggas coming, especially the rap niggas coming in. They're cool as fuck. I'll be dab. You know what's sad about dating to me? It's like it's like a, it's like a rat race. It's it's just like that corporate ladder. Like the NBA players is trying to get the baddest bitch. Baddest bitch do anything for the NBA. Oh, players. did you hear about the whole? Um, I'm sorry, but this goes with this the Britney Reiner thing. No. Oh, we, did somebody sent that to me and said, Talk about it. Nigga. She played, wow. him. she played, oh. but but he should have known PJ, better. PJ Washington, PJ Washington. he oh should have known God. better. What's going on? Who's Britney? Said, Britney, who? Britney, Britney Grinder, the like one that brought Tiana Trump. No, 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 that's Britney, that's Britney Grinder, Britney Reiner, Britney Reiner, Britney Reiner, be with Tiana Trump. Yes, yes, she be with Tiana Trump, the throat doctor. You know, Tiana Trump, the throat doctor, she's the the prom star. Yeah, yes. the throat doctor. What'd she do? Nothing. So but she so she was she was like who's she? 
Brittany Reiner. Okay. Brittany Reiner. She was basically like, what is it called when you like, um, when the men, they um, they see like underage She played the, women. Long, the long game. Um, grooming? Grooming. She was grooming PJ Washington. <laughs> Who's that? He, he's, um, a, he's a young, young basketball forward, player. Forward for the Hornets right now. Okay. He was, she was grooming him when he was in like high school and college. Like we'll go well, to his game. College, college. Kentucky. College. Kentucky, okay, Kentucky. Okay, Kentucky. He would go to the game and then watch him. And then Wait, if he's groom. in college, he's at least 18. Yeah, no, no, it's not, the, what no, she no, did no, is no, not I'm, bad. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. No, it is. She was grooming him not for the age part, but for the money part. Money part. So she was like, she was like, but she was she bad. Was she's bad as fuck though. But, but you got to know better. She's dumb this. too now. She's dumb now. She's if you take dumb. a person like, no. if you she's take a high, top high school prospect, and then you know no, that they're college. NBA bound, so you start grooming them, right? Once they get in the NBA, any. Any top tier woman in terms of just looks amen, is gonna be amen, down. Amen. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I listen, think listen, he got. Listen, you, he's listen, too, that's too high. Listen, it's listen, too listen, high listen, 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 listen. This is what happened. That's what I think was happening. I don't know him personally. You know what I'm saying. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, PJ. If you see this, but in my head, I'm thinking he's a goofy. He was a goofy. He's a gamer. I think most of them and are she played. So. And she played that nigga. Like some niggas don't have games. How's she playing? Huh? Is she pregnant? Huh? Yeah. Yes, she already had she the baby. Has a child. And she left. Yes. Ooh, she's gone. At the baby, she's gone. Oh Lord! Hey, sit down. Sit down. Let me help finish. Help me. Let me it, finish. It, 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 let me help you. Let me help you. It gets worse. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So she groomed him, right? So at the time, she was one of the top tier like Instagram models. Like yes. she's bad as okay. fuck. Top ten. Like body's crazy. I'm the type. I beat her a couple times, but I know. You know what I'm saying? Pull out if you're not wearing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to Roscadine. Or if you got that condom on, make sure you wear that condom. But you got to do your research on these girls. I blame his friends. Like I know somebody he, he's around know like, yo, you tripping, bro. Like, make sure, you know what I'm saying, that she's not. But she played the long game. So she's been around for a long time. She had the games. He thinks he's fucking with her. He like, oh, I got a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, every nigga's trying to get with her. But she wrote a book about how she got played by J. Cole, uh, J. Cole made her buy her own flight to go see him and still didn't really mess with her. Like, it's a whole book about all the, she messed with Lil Uzi, he did her dirty. All these books about her getting played, my niggas. So that's the first sign. She didn't get but he, played. Exactly, but that's super. She so didn't get that, played. That, that to me is the reason why she was, she's at the bottom of the totem pole because you're not getting played. You are trying, you're believing that for whatever reason you brought so much value to these Top, hot, hot, bro, why do you believe just because you look good that, that Jake all of a sudden no, 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 no. his, his she, itinerary she, for the she, day? She got played. She charged to the game though. She I know. She didn't what get I'm, what I'm played. Saying, no, 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 no. Point, I'm not. I don't think she got played. Why she get played? Because she bought a flight to. to no, go no, no, see. no. I don't. I didn't read the whole book. This girl swiped up when I reposted on my but story she, when I called she, him a goofy. Brit, Brittany Ryan and Ryan is going to pose it as if like she got played, but the reality is that. You didn't get played. There was nothing promised. There was no. You didn't build anything I, with these men. No, there no. Was I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Them. Rappers be selling dreams. They just say shit to get in the pants. I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know what happened behind closed doors, or if, if they made it seem like it was hope. But, but it what? Wasn't but hope. what? But what is it that she has done? But she was younger rappers? at the time too, so she was just coming up. What does it matter? But the point I'm making is, what is it that she has done with this rapper for her to believe that? This somehow can materialize into something. If a rapper more tell you that I it. fuck with you heavy, I think you are gonna be my girlfriend just to fuck with you and then that's still not a, even what you just said. And I'm not saying that they not lying. So if a girl told you but that, you, what you gonna think? I like you a lot. I want to spend my life with you. And then after you, after she's done, fuck with you, get a baby and leave you. She played you, but you don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like they be selling it. Niggas say anything when they get in the pussy. John, you're, you're, the rappers just want to fuck her. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. was trying to get a baby off this guy. No, 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 no. But that's after the fact. The book she is said, old. She said, oh, she said, in it's the beginning. Early, I'm saying, I'm saying, saying this the nigga should have did his research. She had yes. a book out, and it's a clip that resurfaced of her saying, hey, the easiest athletes to get pregnant are or the, She said the easiest, the easiest people to get pregnant the easiest, is athletes. Is she dropping yeah. a blueprint? She said, <laughs> she, yeah. she said it. She said it. She well, said, she said it again. Say it again. Say it again. She said the it easiest people. She was in a car. She just recorded herself in the car. Oh, she did. Oh, oh yeah. She What'd did she say? that What'd talk. She, she said the easiest people to get or the dumbest people are athletes if you want to get a baby out of them because they never wear condoms. She said it. And it came up, and it's like a whole slideshow of shit to make him look worse. And I'm like, damn, like she but had a baby is, but this is and she all, look bad How old again. is she? She's like 30 now. And he's like 22, 23. Okay, now let's let's flip the roles, guys. Let's say there was a man who was 30. 
and he's been eyeing this girl who's like 17, 18. She's, he's in college. And he's, he's college. manipulating and conniving. Even if she's 18, if you, if you manipulating a woman, it would, it would be, you'd be toxic. You would never hey, be celebrated. I don't care. But I don't no, care about the legality. That sounds a, predatory no, 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 no. to me. I'm, it is, it is, I'm not going to, I'll support my niggas, but I can't be double-sided. I got to keep it. I'm going to keep it 100. But the other way around is different though. Like that, it's weird for a guy to do that. I'm not gonna lie. If you're 30 years old and you are you grooming an 18 year old, that's, that's weird. Problem. But for a guy, it's cool. You get cool points. I got a melf. You know what I'm saying? I got Britney Grinder. I'm 22 year old banging her. No, but it's it's, it's cool. Not, it's not cool when she's just trying to fucking get a baby. Out well, of he you. didn't think that at the time. But, but that's that, what that's the reason why it's not cool. It's because she was a predator to an 18 year old grooming him to believe that she was going to let's be stop saying there. 18 we don't know when he started he was in school he was already in school he was, he was already... it's one year he won you every nigga who went to kentucky only good for one year so when he was there he was 18 maybe <laughs> oh, yeah, 18 maybe 19. <laughs> oh, yeah, niggas <laughs> one and done in high school in college yeah, 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 so he yeah, was yeah. 18. yeah probably but just probably just, just was 17 probably I'll three blame, months ago I'll, I'll, I'll blame his niggas or his friends no, he probably to, hyped him up. He's though. to blame. She's to blame. His friends to blame. His family's to blame. Everybody. Well, never mind. I blame him specifically. It's his fault at the end of the day. But the people he's around should have known better. About yo, I, I watch would, out. Be I careful. Would have they a probably hard gassed time. him up. That's no, what I'm saying. Not his family. I have a hard time <coughs> believing that nobody in his life told him not to be around Britney Renner. No, no, no. I'm not saying they told him, but. I feel like he didn't listen. I feel like he thought. Yeah, this, he for sure didn't listen. He didn't he listen. Clearly, I feel like somebody he told him. Didn't listen. Book, the book been out. And nigga, people been saying That's that. So fucked, bro. Imagine you accidentally got somebody pregnant, and she made a book about how she. It wasn't accidentally people. though. No, they were got her pregnant on purpose. Proud about it, taking photos of both of them on Baby. IG. Oh, so what's wrong with that? No, no. But then no, no, she no, no, no. she left after she had the child to put him on child support, and then after she's... child support, so she was a baby. Everything's good. Child support pending. They still baby happy. Ah, da, da. And she's and on then IG the child right support now. clear. Once child support clear, she declared her whole Instagram of that nigga. Yep, the baby she pictures. Then she deleted the photos of him and all that. All that. Now she got a new Instagram. Her body's back to normal. So now she about to go to regular schedule programming. And now she don't got to work that hard yeah. anymore because she got child support. She's a demon, dog. She's not a demon. She, mm -hmm. Because she's a demon. How could you not a demon? How could He's you? just a dummy. Both could be true. It could be John. both. Yeah, it can be both. He's hey. dumb. She's a demon. Come on now. If Tina Trump tried to settle down with me, I know that John, shit's cap. If I, I'm not trusting none of that. I shit. know, but John, I don't but, trust bitches. But you should John, never trust but John, a bitch. Me, me taking advantage of someone's ignorance does not then mean that Get I'm not smart, a demon. Smart man, dummy. You're a dummy. I'm not saying he's That's not a dummy. Too. Get smart. But we're, I'm not saying that me taking advantage of someone's ignorance is also demonic energy. It's I both. Mean, I don't blame the devil for that. Hey John, she's a right, demon, dog. She's a demon. John, if she right now, what, she, what she did to that bedroom was a demon. I know. Yo, we we she's troll about it, John. The best but look, if you star. actually signed a 98-2 and Low did it because he knew you didn't know better, you're dumb for signing it. True. But he's also demonic for sending you a fucking shitty contract because he knew you were dumb enough to sign it. Is he both shitty or smart? He's both. I don't know how smart it is to take advantage of like, a dumb it, nigga, though. Like, <laughs> that's not. I wouldn't give not, myself it, too much okay, props wait, over that. I'll say, it's not morally right, but it's not wrong. No, it's wrong. Huh? It's wrong to take advantage of somebody. But you, but people do it all the time. Bro. And they're wrong, nigga. But you do it all the time. Like if you know a car dealership made an error and say he took off, he made a mistake, and you see the mistake, and you, but you're saving twenty five thousand dollars off his mistake. You are gonna tell him, hey man, you messed up. Uh, you, you gave me twenty five off by accident. Let me give you and, the whole. And John, I, if if I did, you that, go, you go, I'm I'm not saying I'm gonna correct myself, but I'm leaving there <laughs> in the car knowing I did wrong. <laughs> I was exactly. wrong. Exactly. So you're a demon. I, I, I was that day. I was in that moment. Bro, I was wrong. But was I'm like, saying, but everybody's a demon in a certain way. Like, you don't correct stuff if it's, nigga, you know what I'm but saying? But me doing a fucking five year lease on a car and I say 25 grand is different from putting a nigga on 18 years of child. Um, that is on, levels to it. That's way more. But that's, as, when you get and, to it, that, and it was crazy. When you get to that league, bro, as an NBA player, I feel like all the coaches and all your coaches or coaching staff are feeling like, yo, watch out for these girls. John, we're not saying baby he's not here. dumb. We established. Okay, so we he's got dumb. the dumb part. He's goofy. <laughs> he's dumb. He's a cornball. He's a goofy goofball. Guy. He's a bum. He's he's dumb. He's delusional. I, he's not a bum. He's dumb, he's nigga. Not a bum. We we close that chapter of the story. We are now on the chapter of she's a demon. The white guy, she's, the white Howard got fourteen kids by twelve women. Look at this nigga. He just trying to. He don't want to. Acknowledge he could be dumb too, bro. It's very possible. Everybody, both are dumb. I just thought about that at the time. I just thought about that. Wait, he has she, how much kids by how much people? Like fourteen kids 14 by twelve kids. women. How true is that? 
if it's not 14, it's like still like 12. He has a lot of kids. But a lot of he has a women. lot, a lot of kids. And he has a he got to be playing he basketball. He can he's never 60. stop playing. Yeah, he, he got to rebound forever. He got to play to old. Well, he, well, he's getting to the point where like some of his first kids are about to be off child support anyway because they're about oh, to be oh, yeah, He's oh, been yeah. in the league for a good second. Okay, okay. Him and LeBron been in the league for a good second. Yeah, shout, out to, shout out to my Lakers. I know we kind of. Why? What is the appeal of like getting a dozen women pregnant? I don't know. It's not smart. You're just having fun and not being safe. After being like smart. after like the sixth accidental child, I think like let's just start wearing condoms. Maybe. Yeah, he's like seven, hurt. seven happened, and he was like, mm. but he was probably thinking at that time, like, yeah, I'm about what, to, I'm about to run could you the league for the next like thirty, like for the next like fifteen years. He's gonna run the league. But he can't, he can't try high school. So he's probably thinking I'm about to just beyond. Be, he, was, he was the most dominant, popular big man at one point. He beyond definitely but, make that. But beyond the, the implications, beyond the implications Yo, of just him it. though, like, <laughs> now fuck, Nigga fuck the money, fuck the money and how it applies to him. There's like a lot of kids that don't have a father in their life every day. That's a fact. Like that's, that's kind of crazy he's got too. Fourteen kids, he can't like. Well, two graduate the same day, or three graduate at the same time. Damn. That's all. That's he's, all a fact. He has to go to a lot of soccer games, a lot of that's soccer games, a lot of basketball games. But can we please? Oh, back to the dummy. No, we're done. We're with done. You. done with him. We close that. We're chapter. done. With, well, we've closed that. Chapter Not a smart now. guy. So PJ, he's done. He's but done. yeah, but she's looking better than ever now. She's back Nigga, on the market. Is she the moniker? No, John. Huh? I still fuck her. John don't want to answer the question. Man. You can say she is, bro. It's fine. Huh? Is I she I, demonic I, or not? I, okay, I guess on that day. I think for 18 uh, years, she's about to be, man. Uh, yeah, for the uh, the years previous well, well, and the 18 well, years after. Think about it. It's not demonic. It's a blessing. He has a new blossom of beauty in that his he life he probably now. can't see. And the girl, girl, the woman who's taking care of that child is Get a fucked. demonic whore. Yeah, who's fuck. going to take yeah, money fuck for by a rapper and the rapper exactly. the baby, shut the fuck up and then and it put in posts and posts the child posts the child on IG with she her get fucked by J Cole the baby crying like yo man can you tell the baby to be quiet exactly man. so yeah, come on what's, what's the baby name PJ Washington Junior tell little PJ shut up man is this what some people say you stalked an eighteen year old in college while you were pushing thirty and had had a kid with him just to drop him. You're the worst kind of human being. And the court gave her custody. I'm out of like, yo man. But he's young. He's young. He don't want custody of the kid. All right, then why did he have it? Huh? Why did he have it? He messed up. I thought you said he did it on purpose. What are you talking about? I'm under the impression because of what you said that he oh, no, tried I was to, to make the situation. He did. He did try to. I was trying to make the situation better. Like you know, what I'm saying the baby. She's not a demon. She gave birth to a new angel, a blessing. Baby's a blessing. That's a very positive way it's, of looking at it. This is legacy now. This is legacy. Legally came off a of finesse. He got a finesse baby. Yeah, I <laughs> imagine. Let's also be clear, and I hope P. J. Washington continues to flourish in the NBA. But nigga. that nigga don't do good. I ain't, I'm about to say, I'm about to say, say, nigga, no cap. I don't know too much about him. After, all after all this, I knew that he was dating her. After this rookie contract, you better figure it out, my nigga. Is He's he playing is he, for the is Hornets. He, is he putting he up numbers? Hornets. He put up numbers. He putting up quality starting numbers. But he would he would have, he would need to start becoming elite in some regards to keep himself in the league for a long period of time. But he young, he's twenty two, so he's yeah. Like, I haven't heard about him until that's all I knew. The Brianna girl, I, I, exactly. Yeah, that's all I knew. Exactly. That's I don't see him on Sports Center. I think the that's the, the like the, well, actually PJ Wild well, he, he has some highlights. He has some. You do? He yeah. fire? He not fire, but he he definitely you put him on your him. fantasy team. Yo, John, is the rat actually, actually towards the end of it? I probably would. If I had is the rat race of dating to see like how bad of a chick you can get, and then chick seeing like. How like successful of a man she can get is that exhausting to you? Uh, I mean, uh, for me personally, I don't trust bitches, so uh, it doesn't really exhaust me. I don't care at the end of the day. I'll be telling, I'll be like, I don't care. I'm not gonna buy it. That's cap, John. I've seen you care before, bro. Huh? I've seen you care before because no, that's the thing. I don't care, but I care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and John. the thing is, John. I don't care, John. but you know what I'm saying? I got feelings too, John. but I just can't care. I gotta just snap out of it. But I gotta learn to not care to to, to not care. So I gotta so practice the, not caring so I never care. Okay, look. If you're in a pursuit of like you know you're gonna be more successful next year than you are right now. Right. Okay. Which they means know that. you're gonna have you're gonna have access to like higher yeah, level yeah, women yeah, right. than you do right now. You know that, right? Right. Okay, so but that'll never stop. Like I don't think there's gonna be a point in your life where it goes the opposite and like you're less attractive. I don't think it's gonna you'd have to gain a lot of weight and well, like become a way worse and, human being. Yeah, and, and money and you wanna be not as funny. So. Yeah, and, and like your humor is not gonna go nowhere. I gotta shrink, lose my funniness, lose my sense of style, lose all my money, and, and bald. And go bald. Yes. Now and your assuming dick has to go smaller. Yeah. Well, they don't know that until they fuck you. But at, 
Huh? Assuming huh? they you know see, how you can see the print and things. Hey, see what are Jaws you? Print before? Low. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's wild. They gonna clip that. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I'm just a wild. <laughs> That's wild. Says the man in gray sweatpants. <laughs> He's been slanging his legs all around the pod. <laughs> nah, but oh, the point shit. I'm trying to make is. Is like you're gonna keep getting higher and higher and higher, but eventually, like, like there's a limit to it, and you have to know that the women, for the most part, are gonna do their best to try and get higher and higher and higher. And unless you get satisfied, unless you and the person you're with are eventually satisfied with who you got, and the reality is, is that doesn't happen too often. Usually, she thinks she could do better, or you think you could do better. Then you just won't have somebody that sticks around for a while. It's not about having the baddest girl. It's about it's really about finding love, man. It's not about finding. But love, most, man. but most, but most people who go into the rat race that he's talking about will never find love because they they are not actually in it for love. The more and more that's videos, what I'm saying. oh, that's what I'm, the more and more videos I watch, the more and more videos I watch on people how they how they communicate and talk about relationships. The more and more I realize, like mo- most people, like. Actually, finding someone that they actually want to be around and in love with, or find humorous, or they want to spend the time with, or genuine like that's not even at the top of the list. Not uh, even most, in the top ten. Yeah, mo- most of the stuff is more so like what they view as your duties in the relationship. Like, are you capable of providing? Are you capable of taking care of children? Are you capable of like that's that's where it's at. You capable of cooking and cleaning? Are you capable of like those? Those are the things saving. Um, Giving giving me a certain lifestyle that I believe that I deserve, like that's what's at the top of the list, and all the other things that would probably that's going to make that person enjoyable to be around comes after. And so when you chase that other stuff, it's it's going to be endless because there's always going to be. I mean, niggas gonna have fun. They gonna have fun, but some some niggas not meant to settle down. Some niggas not looking for love. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for love, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, so I mean, like everybody agree. has a point where they have, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas start late. Some niggas don't start having until like 35. So they enjoy their little couple years of having fun, fucking hoes. And then they get around 45. It's all played out. And then they want to settle down. And they find somebody they really want. As but, long as you're doing something, knowing that process, don't be the nigga that does nothing but just be fucking on one thing to the next. Like you, that's a... I mean, if that's what I'm makes him happy, life. I guess that's what makes him happy. If you just if that's if that was your objective all through your twenties, just to fuck on something and not like build up. No, no, my objective is to get rich. No, I'm not saying you. I'm just talking about in general, oh, like yeah, to the yeah. dude who like sitting there like oh, I ain't re- ain't really ready to like settle down just yet. Like, all right, if you're not ready to settle down yet, then at least build yourself up to the point where you know you're more than self sufficient. So then, when it is time to settle down, you're not in yeah, yeah. Otherwise. That's a lot of young niggas messing up. Right now they're just chasing pussy, trying to look like they have money, and it just fucks them up because it's like this is gonna be there. The same girl that you're trying to get, she's probably gonna get cuter, and she's gonna be better. And then I'll just catch her three years from now. I'm not gonna go broke trying to impress her now because I'm competing with niggas that already have money. That's another thing. Most most niggas just to let y'all know out there. Um, These hoes be fucking everybody. They be acting like they don't, but they be fuck. I be saying crazy. they they do it even with broke niggas. Huh? That's that's also weird to me. What the women who who. Who fuck on broke niggas or fuck on like niggas who not really doing nothing for them? But, but that's still trying those, to follow those it. are the deadliest niggas because niggas those niggas got game. When you get when you when you broke, like you were, when you like nigga, I know when you're down bad, you got to figure out something to make some shape. Oh no no no! I'm not saying I'm not saying they fuck with you because you're. I'm talking about like they they fuck on broke niggas because they think either like the potential of who they can be one day will provide for me and I'm going to stay with them. Oh, potential or or ambition. Like that right there. Well, like, ambition turn girls on. I'm not talking about you have ambitions. I'm talking about they just think somehow when I enter a man's life, I'm going to now inspire him to be something that he is. And they spend time building a nigga. And it's like <laughs> the gall of a human being to think yes. just their presence. So is you enough think a, time. And we, and a bad, how many, how many times have we heard that in the videos we were at to play? Yeah, you said a bad, a bad, a bad girl goes to a broke nigga and she thinks she's going to inspire like, him so to we'll make say, more we'll money. Say, we'll say <laughs> seven, seven, six, six, at, six is at worst to eight. Oh, we'll, we'll date. Eight. We'll date at worst though. Six at worst. Still so above a broke, average. A broke, ugly nigga or a broke, uh, fine. Just nigga? a broke. A, it don't matter about how he looks. He just she broke and she thinks that because she's in his life 
that she's going to inspire him to just be better than now. Nah, like is. once we get together, though, like we're about to make so much money. Like in two in two years, he's not going to be making fifty k. Though the he's amount like, of time, the amount of times I've heard women say stuff like that is mind blowing to me. It's mind blowing to me. And there's a video we're gonna react to on, on playback tomorrow, right? Yeah, bro. It's the 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 way that some women just think is ridiculous. But I I couldn't I can't get caught up in that stuff because it's like you you are you are so distraught over things that really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. You are so caught up in shit that don't really matter. What are you, like, talking, what are you talking about now? I'm talking about like in relationships. Like you caught up in like how much he may, he got to make a certain amount because it's supposed to fulfill you in some type of lifestyle. And it's like, man, first of all, you've but never been in that lifestyle. That, that's the thing. That's the crazy thing to me. Like on my job, I see like girls. I know girls that come to get the start. I know girls that got their own money. I know girls that got funded because they had a starter kit Mercedes. They all got a starter kit. Hey, Order, shit, what is it? What, which one fucking is it? C-class. The C-class. The well, there's the cheaper C-class. cars, but the C-class is the one people get so they don't feel like they got the cheap one. Yeah. The UC-class. With the 20, plastic. 2017 with, with C-class. The, like, it looked plastic inside. Yes. Yeah. That's the starter car. That's the way they got. They just started fucking every, with a rich nigga. And, and every and then, wannabe bad bitch in Atlanta has one. And the wannabe bad or the bad bitches that just haven't got put on yet, or they still look, looking, they'll come in the Honda Civic. Toyota Corolla. Honda Civic is the female car of yes. choice in Atlanta. Like, if I yes. see a Honda Civic <laughs> with a tinted windows and it has like I see like a the few bedazzles. scratches, they low key nice. Though. It'd be they a bad. Low, they low key nice. No, no Honda Civics are great. I'm, cars. Not, I'm not even mad at They're it. They're fantastic. No, no, it's cars. Like a Santa car, but you'll know. But she'll got the car looking like she needs to be in a G wagon. Like mm. she'll get like you, you. She walked out the hotel. You'll look at her. She about okay. She's dripped down designer. She probably didn't pay for it. She probably got tricked off on. And she'll get in the car like that. So I know, but I see a girl that's stripped down in designer, got her own stuff, and then she's in, you know what I'm saying, another car and all like that. But it's like, I don't want the females to get mad at me, like, oh, you're judging, da, 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 da. I, could, I know. Who cares? Though? I know. I'm, I'm actually getting tired of like, that. I, I, the, amount, the amount of times we get comments, or you actually use a couple people who react to us on TikTok about the stuff we say, and it's like, y'all are reacting to us, y'all say things, and then y'all not actually disputing anything we say. Yeah, it just, it just be like, it just be like you, you'll see that because there'll be girls like, They'll they'll just be uh looking for that kind of stuff. And like every girl's not that way. You know, some girls work for their own to get their own stuff, but then like where I met in my industry, I see people are making it a lot more common or make it the norm to trick off because niggas don't have niggas don't have game. Niggas don't know how to talk anymore. Bro, at just, all, man. just just know how to flaunt. They'll flaunt their way into it. But niggas don't know really have a conversation no more. They just kinda just invite you somewhere, try to Pizzazz you with something, but like if you take everything away, like say when you meet somebody for a time, you take everything away, like it's a delete button. A lot of niggas wouldn't prosper with the same tier bitch. I'm my man, female. <laughs> like you said, a lot of things. I don't know why that was so appalling yeah. to me when you said that with a tier of bitch. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Like you just you ever off. see a guy? You ever see a guy God. that like? God. Say a guy like. uh or I, I want to know what's the craziest thing you've seen at at the hotel. But it, it's a lot of crazy things. What's the craziest? It's, it, I can't say crazy because it's a lot of it's, it, it's all different aspects of crazy. How how that is you? Have you I seen, seen a it? I seen a naked a naked homeless man flying down the street on a scooter <laughs> at ten o'clock at night. That's too early on a razor. That's too early to be that's naked an, on a scooter. That's an hour like, after. Like you know, they like cut the, off way the, the, the way the way the way the street set up is like it goes to a hill like this. So it's just a homeless man flying butt naked on a razor, just flying. What about some of the guests? What's the crazy thing you seen with a guest? Uh, like what? Like give me an example. Like have you seen anybody like get ex- try to get exposed or somebody walk around with the underwear or? I've always just imagined like if you don't like if the dude. Doesn't put out money like he's supposed to. I mean, I that feel like she would that, just like kick him out the house. I feel like that kind of stuff happens late. I get off like at 10, 11. So oh, I mean, that, okay. that'd be like overnight shift, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. You know what I'm saying? That's when all the people come out. I see him come in. You know what I'm mm. saying? Some of them come out early, like for the bar or leave early, but like the overnights, all the like wild stuff that you don't really see. Or you see like the rappers coming in late after the club. They'll check in. And so I hear stories about come in like late with girls and stuff like that. Or they'll leave like late at night, like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. You know what I'm saying, but it's just like I, I like my job. It's it is it is crazy the stuff that happens there. So uh, I don't really know who be going there and what like that. And you know what I'm saying, I like my job right now. So mm. I ain't gonna say too much. But I mean, just common information. I've seen a lot of stuff. And last thing, who broke your heart, bro? Come on, hmm? 
Please, Who broke John, your heart? Talk to us, man. I, I got my heart broke a while ago, but then my mom told me to stop. Wait, when was this? Me. Huh? When was this? It's like it's like it's like middle school. Like, this, I didn't get my heart broken. You didn't recently. get your heart broken in middle school, bro. I did. You just got you like you were sad. That's what happened. I think that's that, but that's what that's what had me make me stronger. So ever since then, you just been like fuck ho. That's what you been on. Huh? As no, I haven't been fuck ho, but I was the start of the fuck ho movement. Can you imagine this nigga in middle school? Man, fuck these bitches, man. <laughs> Like, it was just like it was a star. It was just bad. It was just so. Bad. What's the most recent thing that was like that really got you like cemented on this? Uh, I mean, say it. Uh, well, recently, uh, nothing got me like cemented on it. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. Uh, nothing recently, like now. But it's just like I just know how evil girls are. Like, I got a lot of female friends, and they tell me stuff they do to these niggas and shit like that. I just know how like evil what? girls are, huh? Like what? Yeah. I didn't tell, play tell niggas and tell niggas stories. stuff. No. Like what you mean, huh? What you mean? The same shit, like PJ Tucker. I know a lot of. Brianna, Brittany Renner. You know a lot of women who who purposely try to get men pregnant. I mean, get men to have their babies so they can. Men's pregnant, take their money, take their last. I know girls that'll take a nigga rent money, knowing he don't got it. Like take a nigga last, just for him, and they don't even be fucking them. Just be just be stalling or flaking. Like go on a date, expensive date, ask for money. Them niggas are the second on the body. The you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't be having no game for it. They don't be understanding. They be falling for pay, the dumb shit. Well they be letting their emotions to get take away from, them. or be feeling like pussy run everything. Or niggas be chasing stuff. They, like, yeah, they has to run it. everything because like like it should go for a lot on the market. <laughs> what pussy? Yeah, I don't think it does. It does. I yeah. wish. I wish. Actually, I want. I actually want prostitution to be legal. Just so we can finally put a price on that. I, just, I, just, I want it to be across the board. What is it? So we can just go. I can go on Twitter and just check the pussy stock market and just see. Everybody's going to be different. Everything. I know it's going. I know everybody's going to be different, but it's going to be like a medium. Yeah, like puss, like pussy is up seven percent today. Yeah, I, like I want to see like 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 at the end of the day, like I know what like like family size sed- sedans are, like Toyota Camrys and Honda Civics. Like I know I, I know mean, what what that ballpark is. I mean, like if you could buy, you could. But the thing is, it don't have to be legal. But niggas, niggas buy it anyway. But I mean, like, but that's that. No, but we can't openly talk about it. I want us to like, I want it to be on you, Twitter and then have a woman like try to like you can openly, service herself. You can and openly say, like, talk about it, but some girls don't want um, don't want uh, like you know prostitutes. Prostitutes would say they do this or do this or this, but it's like if it, I feel like if it was legal, I I'm mean, tra- I feel like I feel I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm ta- I'm talking about the I'm talking about. Unapologetically showing how much money they make, the same way they do for OnlyFans. Oh, so we now know, like, that's what I'm saying. Probably a couple, probably there uh, has to be a video on. rapper. Probably like, uh, depending on who it is, it depends. It depends. It depends who the person is. I don't. I, personally, I don't care about that because it's like I don't want to fall in that category. I just want to see. You want to see? I want to see how much it is because I know women be lying about like I only I only fuck a six figure and they like come on stop. We know you know that shit is wild. Six figures, hundred thousand, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just thought about John just asked me. Yeah. Um. Done. <laughs> uh damn, that's crazy. She only fucked six figure nigga. That's crazy. It's cap is fucked though. All right, so since you ain't gonna tell us about how you got your heart broken. Oh, yeah. I, I said um. You, we all know you have though, huh? No, yeah. no, no. I haven't got my heart broken, but I got uh, I got because I wasn't in love yet. I just liked heart. I wasn't in love yet, but I just like heart. It was like a long time, like a long time fling. Like we've been like talking on and off. It's recent? No, 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 it's not recent. It's yeah, that's a long time ago, right? High school, high school. High yeah, school. it's high long. School, about four or five years ago. Nigga, how old are you? <laughs> nigga, that's not that long ago for you to say it was a long, long time ago, nigga. So you liked your heart? You like the heart, and what did she do? Ask me that again. What she do, John? Ask me that again, John. What did she do? Huh? What did she do? Nah. So, and don't and don't you dare cap, nigga. I'm not gonna cap. Basically, so I talked to her in high school. Everything was cool. I met her at a party. Everything was cool. Put the can with uh, you, boy. Yeah, put that. Yeah, yeah. We gonna make sure they see us. Yeah. Nah, put the cam on you. Yeah. Good thing you ain't producer. Uh, they, you ain't put the cam on yourself. This, I can this see a, it. It's a lot of us. This is audio book. <laughs> um, so <laughs> nigga, put the cam on your face, nigga. <laughs> like, he didn't do it still. But, I can but, see the cam, dog. Yeah, yeah, let me change. Let me go ahead and change. Let me change. change it. It's on me. It's he on didn't me. do it. He so, flipped uh, it to him and right back. So uh, yeah, yeah. So it's a long story. It's gonna be on me for me. I gotta get y'all reactions as I say the story. It's an interesting story. You can flip it to us right when you like. You hit the punch. Yeah. 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 
that's why y'all are stars and I'm the producer, right? <laughs> Mm-mm. Uh, Mm-mm. You're the star so, of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so back, it goes back. I met her at a party. It was cool. We were talking here and there and there. But that's when I was in my, like, whole phase. Um, I hate how he just lies, bro. No, no, no. What do you mean? Think I'm still Back like then he was in your whole the, <laughs> not now. Yeah, no, nah, I'm nigga, a, put a camera on your face right I'm now. I'm in my nigga. bag now, nigga. nigga put the camera it's me, nigga. It's me. Nigga, put the camera on your face. Nah, I'm, tell I, this story, I'm in my nigga. bag now. I'm in my bag now. Nigga, but, put the key the camera on your face so on, you it's say on, this It's shit. on my face. It's on my face. All right, and then finish the story. Age. Or finish the story. All right. So uh that's when I was in my whole phase. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I I, I really just hit my puberty. You know, I hit my puberty, I grew a couple inches, like four or five inches. Uh, and I got slim. I used to look like you, um, low. <laughs> look at low. Violating you right now. No, I'm not violation. You know, what and I'm he ain't trying to flip the camera on himself. I just want to show you. So I like that. So I was going through my phase. I was having fun. I didn't have no care in the world. Though. But now, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting, I'm getting older. What happened, bro? Uh, it was on and off. So back then, firstly, I didn't take her seriously, right? Well, I just, I was just playing it. I was just elongating it. Like we would just talk, and then like it, would, it wasn't going nowhere. But I made it seem like it was, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then we had like a break where we stopped talking, and then we talked again, stopped talking, talked again. Never really took it seriously. We'll just talk for a little bit, and I go back to my thing. I got a girlfriend, I think, one time after we just stopped talking. That's the reason he'll put his face on this shit. Uh, Yeah, I got a girlfriend. Uh, And then I think it would have been my freshman year of college. I seen her again. She got real bad. She looked real good. She still looked good. She got real bad. Um, Let me get to y'all. See, I, that's a clip moment. You missed it. <laughs> so she got real bad and whatnot, and I wanted to take her seriously this time, right? But I've been playing so long for so long. She Why ain't did take you want to take serious. her seriously this time? Huh? Why did you want to take because, her seriously? Because, like, she, like, no, 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 she was bad, but it's like, we've been through so much. Like, she knew me <laughs> as a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, in high school, dog. but no, but like, as you know, you know, as you start doing stuff, people only fuck with you because of what you had to offer or like they see like the potential of you. So they linger around. So I don't know their real intentions. And I've been like around a lot of girls that just linger around. Okay. Or just want monetary stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't care about none of that shit. Like we'll, she'll buy stuff. Sometimes I'll buy some stuff. Like, we'll, we'll really kick it. And like, you know, when you like somebody, when you feel it inside, whereas like I could just chill, chill with her. It wasn't like, okay, no. I'm here. Oh, you cannot pull off that pose. John. Put your foot back down. <laughs> John, what? Can, is it my story or your story? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. I'm just making sure. Not well, flip the camera yourself then, okay. nigga. Okay. Okay. It's me. It's me. It's me, nigga. It's me. It's me. Uh, so, yeah. So, she didn't take me serious at this time because she thought I was still bullshitting because I've been bullshitting for like four years. Uh, and then uh, I actually liked her. Uh, and then uh, it didn't work out. So. Why no. didn't it work out, though? Huh? Cause she didn't take me seriously, uh, and then we got in an argument. She's a hot head, uh, mm. and then uh, we got in an argument. I said some things, she said some things, uh, and then it actually like ended. Like normally don't end. We could just get mad and then make up, but it didn't go that well this time. And then it was like one of them times where you just what, feel but weird. What did she say? What, what happened? Huh? Give us some details. It was so, she said some shit, boy. She let's a pirate. See, let's hear. It. I know. I know. <laughs> I know you 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 what still you mean, hurt you hard. You know, huh? I know you remember it. So what you say? No, I don't remember it. It mm. stopped crushing your toes against the carpet. I didn't look at me like that. <laughs> like you about to rub a cup and make me Nigga, say something. No, you're like not. We're not. Out. You're not. You're not gonna get out of this, John. Uh, I didn't say the main the main thing. What did she say? Huh? What did she say that got you so heated? Um. Oh. Oh no no no. Oh no no no. So what it happened was, uh, it was it was, it was when I started doing YouTube. I was filming with some girls, and I was filming with girls, and I was just like, it's just business. Business, business, you know. Of course. <laughs> at this time, you were she was your girlfriend. No, at this time, I wanted her to take me seriously. Okay. We were basically we were basically talking okay. like by, on the verge of dating. You know what I'm saying? Courting. So we were talking heavy, courting. Yeah. Uh, and I did a video with some girl, and this other girl posted me, and then the shade room posted me. The shade room posted you, bro. Yes, with some no other way. people. The shade room broke y'all up. Yeah, Shade Room posted me and her friend sent it to me. Ain't this, ain't this John that you was talking to? Da, 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 da. And it was all out of misconception. It's just gossip page. And I was of like, it's just, it just YouTube. It was YouTube. Of course. No, no, on my heart. I didn't do nothing. Of course. Of course you girl. didn't, John. And there, well, I'll smack you. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to smack you last time. You got my age on. Let me put the camera over there. I'll smack you. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. um. That got out and she got mad and she was like, "You want to be fucking around with all these bitches and this, that, and the third. And She just cussed me out 
I, I just wasn't having it that day. You didn't like that you made a video with somebody. What was you doing in that video? But uh, no, but also no, the no, shade it wasn't room. like I was doing a video, but it just like the shade room. I've been I've been bullshitting for so long, and last time I bullshit, I ended up popping out with a girlfriend. So I could see where she was coming from. So I was like, the boy that cried wolf. What did the shade room say? The shade room said you, uh, you was in a relationship with a girl. No, that you- no, it was just she just put it. She was like, this girl. Uh, I'm not trying to put everybody business out there, but she was like, this girl has so many boyfriends, and we were just filming videos at the time. So it's like what we're dating, mm. but you know how YouTube be like yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube crushes and whatnot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Put no, a, I understand that. A list of us together, and I was on that list. I can't understand um, how. Yeah, how how uh, things got mixed up. Yeah, you could you see. Yeah, you I see? can see that. Now. See, and I was and, and that happened, and then she was like, "I, I don't want you uh, filming with girls on YouTube or nothing like that." And you weren't having that. I'm shit. like, I'm like, you're not stopping my goal. <laughs> you ain't stopping my dream. I said, I'm not gonna stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't even do it as much now. But back then, I thought that was a, that was the meta. I was watching DDG. Like, everybody have girls in videos. You, you put a bad bitch in the video, eye candy, and you funny, you're going to blow up overnight. You know yes. what I'm saying? Didn't blow up overnight. Just lost my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you was, I bet you was checking the analytics. Like, no, it's going to come in yeah. the day now. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, going to be worth she was, it. Yeah. She was, she was bugging. Y'all had, so y'all had that argument, and you, basically your stance was, I'm going to blow up off of this. And you nah, it wasn't me. like I was going to blow up, but it was just like, this is YouTube, man. Like, I, I, was, I was, And I was dead ass. Like, I was like, yo, I wasn't doing nothing with Shadi. We were just cool. We were just friends. And she's like, yeah, you at our house or whatnot. Or I'm a filmer. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. at this point, I'm still young. I don't got no my own spot. We're not yeah. in the studio. You know what I'm saying? We just go. I just Why, do up. I know this the YouTuber? Is she like a big YouTuber? Uh, Yeah. So I would know her? I might know her? You might. I think people like her are insecure, broken, and like they have I mean, jealousy issues. Because you should be able to trust. The circumstances. What if, I'm about to say, what if, what, if she, what, if, what if she's justified in doing so because how often he was Yeah, like I was her. off with you watching and I will actually start why, falling why in love with her. Why would she try and take someone seriously that she doesn't trust? Huh? No, but she did. She did. Like we've but been we've anymore, been messing with each other John. for so long, huh? If if you if all it it's not like she didn't me. trust me. She was trying to give me an ultimatum, and I, I wasn't going for that. That's it's that's trust. called a lack of trust, dog. That's from a lack of trust, huh? That's, that's a lack of trust. So that's from a lack of trust. And then, and I understand. Oh, yeah. I understand. oh, like, like if, if I went on if I went on another man's podcast. And Low hit me up like, bro, I didn't like how you went on that podcast. But you if, if Low, but Low podcast. never took you seriously for almost four years, why? What, what are you gonna think changed now? But then that's that's the trust thing. That's what I'm saying. Huh? So it's she all, doesn't trust, trust you. This is not being a PJ. maybe. Maybe due to your okay. actions, I'm assuming that played a role. But maybe also due to some shit she got going on. But uh-huh. at the end of the day, there's no point. In, I don't think there's no point in even I had taking hoes back there. I'm not gonna lie either. Some of our friends knew me too. I hate, it's like, it's like, I hate John, dog. Trying to get the benefit of Doc. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was in the wrong. I was in the wrong. I was in the wrong at that point. Well, I wasn't in the wrong in that situation. I'm going to say not in that situation. But I paved the way for her yes, not to trust Understandable. Me. And, it, and I started getting the whole time attached. she was right. Huh? The whole time she was wrong. You just said you had a lot of hoes. No, no. But, gonna, he, but you was going to cut him off for her and which I took it serious. <laughs> No, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Say again? Did you when you was off? in college and freshman year, and y'all oh no, had freshman this, year when I was taking her seriously, yeah, I didn't have any. You cutting them off? Okay, I cut. You been cutting them off? A lot of them off. I always keep it back. You, up. So you, but you, you cut all of them off? I cut, I cut all oh. the all the dangerous ones off. The ones that like serious. So she's right. She there was no need to take you serious if you only if you didn't cut all of them off. Like, I don't trust bitches either. She probably had niggas too because she had a boyfriend 100%. at the time. I get that, but if the if the end goal wait, was trying to get wait, she had what at the time? Well, she just got out of a relationship, and, okay. I, and then she came back because I was like, I miss you and whatnot, and then y'all niggas is toxic. <laughs> let's, let's be clear. <laughs> Anybody who takes somebody fresh out of a relationship, I miss you. That's toxic. No, it's not, I didn't miss you, but it was like it was like I I tried to reach back back out to her a few months ago, but she was already dating him. I didn't keep tabs on her because like it's not my you know what I'm saying? And then and then And then when I reached back, back out to again. her, like she wasn't really posting them that much. Like she would post them like an arm or something. Yeah. I'm like, dang, she's in a relationship. So I just let it be. Like I'm not no I'm not no messy nigga. But then I think I saw like she was mad or something. 
and she's like, it's done, or she's single now, or something like that. So I just yeah, swipe you know up. When you talk, so that's when you toxic. Talk for long that's distances. toxic. You huh? can flip the cam on you too, man. That's toxic, nigga. Hey, hey. Hey. There you go. Hey, Nody gang. <laughs> nigga, that's hey. toxic. Huh? That's toxic. That's toxic. It's not toxic. It's just like I huh. seen her and I was like, I'm not but what's the point of me? <laughs> Sean, it but is. we was friends too. Like when we stopped talking, we were still cool. We was cool. But you though. didn't talk to her when she had a boyfriend. Why? So, you're, so uh, John, you sitting there saying it's not toxic because we were friends, but you didn't keep that that communication via friend while she had her boyfriend. Unless but, but you, knowing, only, you only you only brought it knowing, back up, knowing the nigga I am and me respecting yeah, her weird. relationship <laughs> because, like, lo 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 lo. Listen to me, being the niggas I am, I'm maturing at this point, respecting her relationship. What? I know me texting her only gonna lead to something. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I'm just gonna let her live her so life. You cut off for the betterment, betterment of everybody's situation. <laughs> You're so noble, John. Yeah, he noble as fuck. <laughs> <you know? laughs> he noble as fuck. And as soon as she broke up with the nigga, you was like, I miss you. Hey, <laughs> you probably saw her. You probably hey. saw her hey. Instagram hey. story. Hey. Saw her hey. close no, friends. It didn't she go like heart. right after she broke up, but it's like when she broke up, I knew she wasn't okay, with that nigga. John, no it wasn't right after, but it was after, nigga. But no, but like she felt the same way too. Of course, both of y'all are toxic, nigga. Okay, well, fuck it. We were toxic. And <laughs> that it was about to be serious, and then that happened. How'd you it, feel when she dubbed you? Or huh? she she's how'd you feel when she dubbed you? Uh she it like wasn't like she dubbed me. She just gave you an ultim, uh, ultimatum. Oh, she gave you the ultimatum. And it went bad and we got in a bad argument and it just didn't end right. And she's petty. Um, I'm petty. Uh she said some words, I said some words, some shit you probably can't really take back, especially messages, they just sit there. Like, so when you get mad, you just go back. That's you, the worst one. You right think here. about being a bigger man, and you just scroll up. And see all <laughs> you shit. Like, you like, yeah, you was yeah, really like, giving it to me that yeah, time. Like, like, yeah, you, you really meant that. I didn't even know that was a real cuss word. Like, uh, so, so <laughs> theoretically speaking, since you don't post those videos as often now, yeah, y'all could get back together. Nah, it's dead. No, nah. why would you even want? Why to? would I go back to that? I got so many. Saying, John has upgraded since then. Wait, what'd you say? You got some what? Huh? <laughs> what you think? You got hoes? I got so many bad. Um, but uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. But I'm not looking for a relationship right now either. That's nothing. John telling on himself. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not telling on myself because I don't trust bitches anyway. Lo, it's a meta to this, bro. I don't it's care. I'm not looking for a girl anyway. I'm just worried about my bag right now. That's I, I that. Loki, you know that's a good. That's good energy. Just care about my money. Like they gonna come, bro. When I get money, they gonna come. If I don't have money. They still gonna be there. But you, st- I'm, and we can we can end it on this. You started this whole thing by saying the reason why. I was entertaining her because with her, I didn't have to question why she was. Yeah, there. yeah, that's that's why. No, that's why I, I fucked with her heavy because she was so real. Like going know, up through high school, you, was? you but you but you just sat in there and said, "I'm gonna get my money and they gonna come anyway." Huh? Yeah, so no, those, I'm talking about that's my mindset now. But I'm saying in that situation when I was there, I was fucking with her heavy because she was like so real. Like the conversations we have, she'll fuck with me you heavy. Get what I'm saying? What are you saying? You saying the girl that fuck with you for you. It's gonna be way harder to find when the girls start fucking with you for your money. No, I'm I'm saying I'm gonna have to I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cross that bridge when it comes, but I don't care. I don't trust come. them anyway. We gonna come, nigga. Yeah, I mean when the time comes, you gonna know love. I'm gonna ask God. We we'll pray about. <laughs> he it. gonna guide you through the hoes. You gonna guide me through them hoes. <laughs> gonna pick that bitches out. She is rotting. <laughs> Get her out of here. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. Give me a sign. Her last fall. You out of here. God didn't told me. Give yeah, you have a, you have an interesting life, John. I think we're only scr- I think we're only scratching the surface with you. You're only scratching the surface. <laughs> You're, You're scratch- not even scratching the surface. You kind of saw the scratches, thinking about scurfing it. Mm. Yeah, we'll get to a point where you'll stop threatening me about slapping me every single time I try to dig a little deeper. <laughs> huh? No, I just asked you about my age. You just asked my age. Every nah, time no, no, I said something else, and you was like. <laughs> Well, I'd slap you. Uh, no, because you was like, you said you're not that, you're not that old, John. You're just in high school a couple. No, years no, no, ago. no, 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 no. I said something else about you cutting off. The other ones and you oh no no no! I forgot to say I was gonna smack you when you said it originally. I just had to get it out. Oh, there. Okay. yeah, I forgot to say it when you said it before. I just had to get it out. We'll, there. we'll, get, we'll dig a little deeper. Uh, but yeah, life. but uh, what I say? She was. Um, you go to therapy, John? Huh? You should go to therapy. Yeah, I don't need. Therapy. I don't need therapy. I'm not hurt anymore. I, it's, it's, it's a time in my life where I digged in and made me stronger. Just don't trust bitches. Black people are hilarious when it comes to therapy. <laughs> when when somebody says a black person goes to therapy, like, whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you think I need that? I mean, I'm not trying to off myself. I'm not just trying to do self deletion. Like, yeah, self deletion. That's not the only reason why you had to yeah. go to therapy, bro. Yeah, it don't have to be to that extreme. You uh, might be telling you holding some trauma, dog. Huh? About the trauma building the man I am today. <laughs> the, the, I don't need the trauma. The trauma you, you go to therapy, nigga. The yeah. 
You yep. do? Yep. Yeah, you sad fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Called you sad fuck. <laughs> well, I went, I, I went to therapy. I've been to therapy uh, twice, but one, like one time I went to therapy because my father passed away, and I wasn't going to sit there and like you about to you about to call me a sad fuck because my father passed away. You better say John. I know you're not about to say that. John, right? no, you're not about to say that, John. <laughs> no, it just John, I, feel I know bad. you about to get into that, nah, right? No, I feel bad now. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel bad now. That's why when you brought you just brought it up first. <laughs> he should have slept with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you said yeah. Hey, yeah, John, you you gonna you gonna get at me like that, huh? Nah, man. You better have me go back to my trauma. You better have PSD. Nah, <laughs> man. About to start doing. Nah, man. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry, Lo. I won't smack you this time. I take mm. my smack back. But All tomorrow's right. a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. You know what I'm saying? So don't say that shit again. <laughs> All right. With that being said, yo, shout out to y'all so much for rocking with us on another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. Any last words? Um, man, happy a p day out there, fellas. Oh, my God. John. Don't trust bitches, man. Put yourself on the camera when you say right, that. Yeah, I'm on the camera. I'm looking at them right now. I'm looking at them dead in their face. Don't trust bitches, man. Trust um, and, and finally, man, I love y'all so much. Thanks for all the support as always. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, join Nodi Gang, 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 Gang. We talked about um some gaming topics too, so we always gonna be at the top of the gaming podcast on Apple. I've been telling so many people that we're the number one gaming podcast, so I don't want to lose that, guys. Can we? Uh, Apple Podcast people specifically, yeah, keeps, man. Keeps Drop the five stars. Five appreciate, star. it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. All of the platforms, Spotify to um, to Google Play. Keep keep supporting us as well. Appreciate y'all. TikTok booming. Everything's still booming. Clips channel, et cetera, et cetera. Thank y'all so much for supporting, and we'll catch y'all on the next episode. Oh yeah, the ne- couple, next couple episodes gonna be big. More more behind the scenes stuff. What? what? The gang is coming this weekend. The who? The gang. Who's the gang? Behind the scenes, guys. Caleb, oh, B Souls. Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, Caleb, Caleb was coming, yeah. I should probably get ahead then. Damn, we just finished the AMP like a pump exhausted. Oh, I, I'm exhausted. I got my COVID shot. Yeah, my arm hurt like fuck. My heart, my arm, my arm well, still it's not hurts that bad. right now. It's not that bad. It, it hurt a little <laughs> bit. It was sore. I took an Advil, but it didn't, it didn't do that bad. Which no. one did you take? I took the Pfizer. That's what I took too. It, it don't hurt me that bad, but I think everybody's body different. It, it fucked yeah. my mom up, but you took, I think you took the other one. I don't know mm-hmm. what it is, but the chip finally dissolved, so I'm good. Huh? Yeah. The chip, the chip, they stick you with, it finally dissolved in my body, so it's cool. Yeah. Oh, you're healthy now, man. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga John was sweating bullets. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, like, technology. Yeah, wait, wait, Pfizer? <laughs> what, you took that too, Pfizer? We talking about the same shot, right? I All right, know. I'll catch y'all next time, man.